welcome to Sewing Quarter. I'm Natasha McCarty and we've got a little change to our lineup for you this morning in case you've been looking online. Let's see how it's shaping up today. So it's tools, tips and techniques. Oh yes. Uh, so as ever, eight o'clock was always going to be miss it, miss out. The slight change comes at nine o'clock, um, which now is Christmas placemats because we've managed to get it back in stock. 10 a.m. Q-A-Y-G, quilt as you go, in case you didn't know what that was. Like me and producer Hannah were going, what's that? What's quake, quake? Quilt as you go. Yeah, we're quick. We're on the ball this morning. At 11 o'clock, we've got our tulip block ideas for you. Yes, the very lovely Lucy Brennan is in with us today uh, to do those Christmas placemats and the tulip block ideas for you. That's how today is shaping up. Um, yes. Now, let's have a look at the website because I love it when you get in touch. So head to sewingquarter.com and on there you can watch us live. You might already be watching us live. You might have to shock horror go out, in which case you can take us with you. Um, so to watch live, click on watch. It's quite self-explanatory really, isn't it? Uh, and then we'll come up on your screen there. And then if you want to get in touch, which is always lovely, just down on the right, message the studio. Have a little tippity tip tap type and, uh, and that will come up and come through to us. Then underneath there will be all the products that we'll have on the shows today all of them they'll all be there oh yes they will which is really rather wonderful um so they'll all be there and you can get in touch and then you can do your shopping you don't have to remember any of the codes because they're all randomly generated and a bit tricky to uh, to remember so you don't have to just go straight to the products from today's shows and they're all there excellent that's what we're doing today now first hour oh do you want to email us Yay! If you'd like to email us, if you've got pictures of your quilts and things like that, um, then studio at sewingquarter.com. That's how to get in touch there. Hey, and we love that. Now, <laughs> miss it, miss out. Um, <clears throat> so the premise of this hour is, well, it's a bit wrong, still. It, it is what it says. Miss it, miss out. Either these fabrics we can't get back in again. You know, the suppliers just don't have any more. It was just a one print run or whatever it was. Um, or, you know, it's just the last and we don't know when we'll get it back in stock. So one way or another, this is the last of the stock that we have. Miss it, miss out. Now we're starting off with a beautiful range that I've barely seen, which is the Rhapsody range. We all love this. Are we getting this again? No, we can't get this again. We can't get any of the blue Rhapsody range again. So if you absolutely love, and we've tried, we've really tried, because look how beautiful this is. An absolute classic, just stunning. Absolutely stunning. So this is 8.45 per half a metre. This is Blanks Blue Rhapsody Fabric Vintage Flower. It's just incredibly gorgeous. It's, it's that classic, isn't it? This will never date. This will never go out of fashion. It will never go out of style at all. The end. But that's it. So moving on to the next one, because that will not be back again. Jay, are you just, are you, are you going to be with me all hour? So if I just scoot it along the desk, then you'll... Hey, there's service for you this morning. Hey. The, uh, he doesn't feel very well today. Oh, Jay. This is also from the Blue Rhapsody. That, that was all the sympathy Jay's getting there for <laughs> not feeling very well. Oh, poor Jay. <sighs> we won't mention that again. Here we go. Blue Rhapsody, again, this is from the range. So if you are collecting the range, if you are getting all those beautiful blues to go together that merge and blend and just oh, look gorgeous together, or maybe you just love this one. It's almost musical notes, isn't it, through it? Yeah, 8.42. This is really strange. That's, that's a slightly different price from the other one. EYEQ42. That is, why can't we name these? Yeah. Um, enjoy. Oh, Jay, I'm not very good at folding. We've all just had our. Um, we've all just had our reviews, our yearly reviews. I got told I need to learn how to fold fabric properly. <laughs> it's, like, it's not my forte. I have other strengths, right? <laughs> now this is your enzyme washed linen. Uh, beautiful for your trousers or your linen-y type needs. We're getting this back, don't know when. 
not gonna lie, no idea, absolutely none. But if you want a bit of linen in your life and it is, it's got that lovely texture to it, then this is your enzyme wash linen in gray. I want a pair of trousers out of these. It's more of like a stony color. Oh, Jay wants a waistcoat out of it if anyone's offering to make him one. Although, I think Jay would look very dapper in a waistcoat. You could have a matching one in blue, duck egg blue. Yeah. We've done, um, we've done skirts and things in this. It's really lovely. So this is your linen fabric again, your enzyme wash linen. It's the enzyme washing that gives it that lovely finish. And it is very beautiful. Very beautiful. Look at that. It's your classic linen finish, isn't it? Uh, so actually, great for bags and things like that as well. It's all perfect. 595 BZJQ61. But miss it, miss out. If you love it, don't wait too long. There we go. Sad face. Not getting this one back. Freddie will be sad because it means that he can't have another lunchbox bag out of it. I love this fabric. I absolutely adore it. So you've got organic cotton and then a PU finish on top, which is just perfect. So the, the cotton is 100% organic. And then you've got this PU finish on, which is why it was perfect for Freddie's lunchbox. So that is 147 centimetres wide. This is a whopper. We've made all sorts out of this, haven't we? Great for, for aprons. So for half a metre, it's 11.95. This is a metre. Treat yourself, go crazy. Oh, I just love it. You know, you could always, um, you could always pop, your, uh, pop this over the top of your table that your kids work at. You could, we've made ponchos and all sorts out of this fabric. But it's 11.95, it's really rather wonderful. It's not just elephants, let me tell you. There are frogs and mice and tortoises in there. There you go. And you see nobody else at Freddie's school has the same lunchbox bag. So I know instantly that it is, because they all get put outside the back door and then parents have to swoop and collect. And it nestles between the Paw Patrols and the Fireman Sam bags. There's the odd Nemo one in there too. But there are no elephants. No other elephants, let me tell you. Oh no, 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 no. It is the envy, I'm sure. Well, that's what I tell myself, because I made it. Um, there we go, Jay. Have some fun with some elephants. Thank you. Are we not able to get this again? I love the fact, so this is, um, I love the fact that someone has had a, a discreet color of this. Just to show you what you could do with it. So this is your Michael Miller Colour Me fabric range. This is fish, fish frenzy. So, oh, only three and a half meters of this left. Oh, this was always a popular one, wasn't it? I'm amazed there's any left, to be honest. Three and a half meters left. You get the idea. You colour it in. There you go. If you want any of the pens, have oh, we got any of the pens left in stock, due to Hannah? Yeah, they're right. We've got pens on the website. I like the paisley in this as well. Maybe you want to colour a whole lot in. Maybe you just want to pick out a little bit. I always thought it would be fun to make, a, um, make a, a pencil case out of it and then just sit there colouring your pencil case in. That's how my mind works. Ba, 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 ba. There we go. Thank you, Jane. Oh, message from Karen. Good morning, Karen. Karen and Sasha said, good morning, Natasha. Love to see you back on this sunny morning. Have you got sunshine? Is it sunny out there? Because it was weird, wasn't it? Weird weather yesterday. Really weird. That red just... Red, red sky, really bizarre. That's the sand, isn't it, coming in from the Sahara or whatever it was coming in from? Yeah. Are we not able to get this one either? So how much have we got left for this? Six and a half metres. See, I like it in the white because then the colours really stand out. I don't know. Actually, I, ooh. maybe get a half metre of each and then you could, then you could do contrasting. Jay's up for that. A45 per half a metre, but this is the fabric that just keeps on giving because you can colour it in. Uh, Laurie in Suffolk says, Morning Natasha, nice to see you back. Hope Freddie is better. Oh, thank you ever so much, Laurie. He's getting there. It's been a slow burner, this fluey thing that he's had. And he's still got a cough. He's not, he's not 100%, but he's getting better, bless him. So he's only doing half days at school. But he'll be, he'll be all right. 
Oh, your frou-frou. Oh, can I just say, actually, a big thank you to John, who covered for me on Thursday, because I was with Fred's. Um, so thank you, John, for covering that last minute. Uh, now, this is your frou-frou. Only four and a half metres of this. Desk. A blouse or something needs to be made out of this. It's just so soft and beautiful. The drape on it is absolutely gorgeous, and it really does need to be made into something stunning. Really beautiful. It's more of a lawn fabric with the frou-frou. Frou-frou? Foo foo fleury. They don't want to make that easy to say, do they? No. A few days off. There you go. Have a bit of frou foo fleury. Gosh, 9.95. Uh, grab the flowery one, quick. Let's just go with that, shall we? Jay, you're doing a great job folding these all up. There we go. Lovely. Um, Isabel in there. She says, "Morning. Lovely to see you back, Natasha. Wild and windy here. SQ brightens my day. Oh, thank you very much. Well, it's lovely to be back, and I'm glad that we are brightening up your day." Um, Oh, good. Phew. Okay, so the brown needle cord we are going to get back. I think Jennifer Taylor would have refused to come back on air if we didn't have the needle cord back on again. Only 15 metres, though, until it does come back. So if you did, you know, watch the Jennifer um, show where she made us, made us, showed us how to make her pinafore dress out of a book, this is perfect. And actually, it's 140 centimetres wide, but I have to say, I've just made... Um, gorgeous dog bed with, with, um, with, with needle cord. And it's so snuggly. Our super jack, he absolutely loves it. Can't get him off it. There you go. Not just for pinafores, turns out. It is very autumnal. You just want it, you know, a little polo neck. Maybe I'm thinking cream polo neck and then some sort of uggy tight boots and you're away. Other boots are available, apparently. Don't know. Here we go. Um, now... We are going to get this back. Don't know when. Don't know when. Uh, less than 10 metres. Love this one. And the fact you can get it by the half metre, super, super exciting. 4 95 This is one of the most popular colours. Again, this is your needle cord fabric. It is so, super soft, so beautiful to work with. It's a real lovely one to have in. Great for dressmaking. I want a, I want a pair of, I want a pair of jeans out of this. That would be amazing. Can we see, yeah, How, can we see any like, there you go, can you see, it's really fine needle cord. Needs a bit of a lint roller over this as well, it's uh, got a bit of fluff on it. Yours won't, well, can't guarantee that. As soon as anything's open in our house, it generally has fluff on. Yours won't have come from my house, yours will have come from the warehouse, happily. There we go. Um, that is your beautiful needle cord, it's so soft. Rabbits. Oh, are we getting this one back, producer Hannah? Yay, good. Um, we don't know when, so don't get too excited, but we will get it back, but don't know when. So that's it. It's miss it, miss out this morning. So if you need it now in your life, grab it. We either won't be getting it back or we don't know when we're getting it back. Uh, hello, hello, price. 3 95 per half a metre. Cover all of your kitchen cushions in this. I, I mean, I, that sounded very, you know, Jay, you don't want pink cushions in your kitchen? No? It's 100% cotton, but it is a linen look. So you get the best of both worlds. You get that lovely linen effect, but you're working with cotton. We can't order these quick enough to keep in stock. So if you're after this, it's lovely. Do all of your, um, you could do all of your door stoppers and tablet stands and everything in it. Bag making is fabulous for that. All of those kind of crafty type projects. Jay, should you be here? Are you sure about that? Because you look, you look a bit, you look a little bit wobbly. Yeah. Producer Hannah, I'm not sure he should be here. Yeah. We'll send you home in a minute. Um, oh, oh, oh. How much have we got left of this one? Are you kidding me? We've only got a metre of cave. We can't get this back, not for love nor money, and we've tried both. Can't. Uh, <laughs> this, do you remember when cave came in? How could you ever forget? Um, I won't, this is our metre. This isn't your metre. This is our metre. Well, I don't know. It might be your metre. No. Uh, no, no, no. There's another metre. Um, but this is the one that we did, that beautiful flower cushion. 
that Jess did, and we, we fussy cut all the flowers. Lots of ways to use this. You might just, oh, this was the one that I wanted a maxi dress in, wasn't it? It's not enough, is there? Not if there's only a metre left. More of a mini skirt. Why can't we get any more of this? It's lovely. Just can't, just can't. Just can't, just one of those really annoying things, just can't get any more of it. So if you need cafe in your life, and this is a beautiful stuff, oh, I still, oh, check out your basket like now, says producer Hannah. That's, that's her warning to you in the nicest possible, and oh, no, they're right, I really can't fold fabric. Um, it's a good job nobody checked that, isn't it, in our, in our kind of, <laughs> in our auditions for the channel. And can you fold fabric? No, no. We can't reorder this either. What's this one? This one's... Oh, I've not even seen this, Producer Hannah. Have you had this? Oh. Now, this is a, um, a, a Lewis and Irene. Look, at you're going to have to come in and close to see the little mouse. This is just autumn, isn't it, in a fabric, because you've got your sycamores. And um, what else have we got in there? So, uh, yeah, Lewis and Irene bring their fabrics out seasonally. When they're gone, they're gone. They specialise in sort of nature-y type things. It's a family-run business named after parents and grandparents. It's beautiful, isn't it? Really beautiful. I can imagine a little backpack in this would be fabulous. I mean, he's having a little munch. This one's having a little snooze. Uh, are there conkers? Oh, yeah, no, look, conkers here. Acorns. Uh, I've got I've got two acorn oh, oh, trees. Uh -huh. Yeah, two. A whole two. Yes, a whole two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then you've got your sycamore. What are they called? I call them helicopters. Are they are they helicopters? Let's call them that. Is that not the official name of them? Uh, look, I'm I'm no Alan Titchmarsh. Let's be honest. Let, yeah, uh, miss it, miss out. Is it all? Yeah, no, I can't believe it's already in there either. Oh, Tina says, good morning. I'm a newcomer to sewing and quilting. I'm just giggling because it actually says sawing and quilting. It's <laughs> predictive text. It's always a joy. Um, I'm assuming that's sewing. Um, I'm checking if this message gets to you. Yes, it has. Hello, I love your show and thank you for your tips. Tina, you are so very welcome. Welcome. We love a newcomer. Welcome. Everybody's welcome. Do you like the mice? Miss it, miss out. Ah, oh, oh. Now, this is your cotton canvas in white. Canvases are so, God, it's wide. It's really wide, isn't it? Um, this is just one of those really handy ones. So, uh, yeah, I told you it was wide. It's 150 centimetres wide. Look at that. 100% cotton, but super wide. And this is your cotton canvas. So it's that heavier weight. It's a much heavier weight. It's also, look, it's also a much wider weave, if you can see. It's probably easiest to see where it frays just at the edge a little bit. All fabrics fray. That's fine. But there you can see that's, um, that it's a much wider weave. 365 per half a metre. Yeah, we'll get that back. Pfft, when? Don't know. Don't know. Oh, Juice Hannah says it's unpredictable. Yeah, there you go. Um, wow. Yeah, our new warehouse up and running. Good job, big shout out to the warehouse crew who have worked so hard to make that happen. So a big thank you to them, um, particularly Carl and his team. They do a grand job for us. Trinkets, we we're going to get this back again. We're not. Oh, I lied. We're not getting it back. Get it now. Yeah, now you see, this is a really useful one. But we can't get what the whole range can't get any of the whole range again no more trinkets ladies and gents sad times but grab it because this is one of those ones that it's just it's a quirky take on a on a ditzy so it's not it's not exactly a spot it's it's just two little dashes but it's really handy um it's nice as a neutral mixer five pound 45 sqmy 38 yeah, it's great. It's going to go with so many different fabrics. Um, it's going to look lovely with your florals. Actually, that will mix through with your tilde, won't it? Mix and match. Oh, mix and match with the next one because that's from the trinket range. Yeah, look at that. Again, can't get this back again. None of, how much? 
Only two meters. Producer Hannah, this is sad times. Only two meters of this. Ooh. But again, a lovely neutral. Mixes through with your other, with your other florals. And again, it's one of those colours. If you're making something for somebody else and you're not quite sure on their palette range, go for neutrals. Yeah. Do it. Everyone's nodding in the studio. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Completely right. They are directed, Tim. If you look in all your screens, you'll see everybody nodding. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. R more bad folding. Sorry, Jay. Sorry. Only a metre of the trinkets left. Oh, of the second trinkets that I showed you. Oh. What? No. Are we? Please tell me we're getting the stags back. Okay, so we can reorder this one. Don't know when. Don't know when. But look at it. It's beautiful. Now, again, this is a looser weave. So um, probably better for all your crafty projects. I would zigzag the edges before using this one, just because it's a looser weave. It's just how the fabric is. Uh, but look at that, 495. It's a linen effect fabric. I think, I believe it's 80% cotton, 20% polyester. Chatham and Glynn. It's really lovely, and these have been so popular. I think with Christmas coming up, this is a must. Yeah. Stags, all sorts. Beautiful. Oh, Anne, 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 I'm so sorry. She said she was looking forward to the machine feet show. Does that make sense? Machine feet. Yeah. She, she was looking forward to the feet show. Um, it, it, it is going to happen, but we just wanted to do a little bit more research as to which feet went with what models of machines so that we could give you more information. So we've just given ourselves an extra day to make sure that we've got loads more information for you. Thank you, Jay. Um, and, then, and then hopefully it'll be an even better show. But yeah, that hopefully will be tomorrow. So, and just have to watch tomorrow. Is that all right? Can you do that? I hope that's all right. Um, I thought this had all gone. Oh, this is your brushed cotton. I tell you what, Jay, we need to make you a blankie out of this and then you can just snuggle down. It's hurt his shoulder again, ladies and gents. But look at this, 3.75 per half a metre. This is another one. Um, is it wrong that my son has matching pyjamas to the dog's beds? Is that wrong? I don't know. But it's absolutely beautiful. It's because it's so snuggly. It's absolutely beautifully snuggly. You could do um, picnic blankets with it or just Christmassy throws. It's that kind of fabric. Or, um, you know, pyjamas, family pyjamas for everyone. Pyjamas all round, 375 by half a metre. How many metres? 15 metres, someone might just swoop in and get all of that so that they could make an entire family's worth of pyjamas. Um, and at 375 by half a metre, fab. It's really nice to work with actually as well. And so soft. This is one of those ones that the more you wash it, the softer it gets as well, as if it's not soft enough already. Uber gorgeous fabric. I'm gutted that we won't be getting this back in. But this is your red, blue, green brushed cotton. We've used this on lots of different projects and it's just been lots of fun. Uh, just worth saying, it is yarn dyed and then woven. Okay, so it's not a print, it is yarn dyed. So that means it's the same both sides. And it's just so soft, love it. 375. Over to you, Jay. Thank you very much. Oh, he's dropped it. Come on. Now, are we not, are we not getting this about? Mm. We can get this again. We can't get it again. Oh, I've got a bit of fluff in my eye. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that brushed cotton. Um, cape sold out. What, what? See, this is it, you've got to be quick this morning. Miss it, miss out. Don't miss out. Uh, now, this is... Uh, now, this is your Andover fabrics. Love these. These are specifically for quilts. Well, that's, that's kind of how their how they're build is for quilting. But it's just a beautiful weight, so you can use it for other things. It's 5 95 per half a metre. The colour of this blue is so soft and lovely, and it's going to work with so many of your other blues. I love it. I'm really sad we're not getting this in again. Um, we've had a lovely range of this. So this is your Bubbles Baltic fabric from the Blue Sky range. If you've had this range, and you'll know exactly what I mean, it's beautiful to work with. It's just so soft. So, so soft. Yeah. All righty. Over to you, Jay. Bing. Ah, now, this is your Japanese garden. We're not getting this back either, are we? Gosh, 
lots that we can't get back, but that's often how it is. You know, designers will do a run, they'll do a print, and that's it, they won't print it again. So if you absolutely love it, then great, grab it. Um, great for us because we know that you've loved it, so we'll, you know, we'll try and get similar, but we're not getting this one back again. So this is your Japanese garden blossom, white on red. Mm, is it red? I would say more coral. Yeah, I wouldn't say red, but I didn't name it. They don't let me. 595 FKMY73. <laughs> they won't let me. I just criticise everybody else's namings of them instead. That's bad, isn't it? Uh, there we go. Right. It kind of is coral, though. I mean, even you, even on your screens, you can see it's not exactly red. There we go. Folding's getting better. Oh, the denim. Now, this is um, art, art. Yeah, I can never remember if it's art house or art gallery. Art gallery. <laughs> Thank you, producer Anna. Uh, fabrics. This is super wide. Look at that. Lovely and wide. Um, the thing with art gallery fabrics is that they're denim, and this is a, it is a true denim, but it's very, very fine. So if you wanted to make shirts and skirts and things like that, it's going to fall really beautifully. If you want to use it for your bag making, things like that, absolutely perfect. You can also quilt with it. They really, really pride themselves in every half meter of fabric just being such high quality, and that's kind of their thing. So 11.45, it is super wide. Um, and it is a lovely, lovely denim to work with. Really lovely. You can see that it's denim. You can see it from there. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. So grab that. Are we getting that back? No. Okay. Can't get it back. So again, Art Gallery, you know, they change their ranges. Miss it, miss out this morning. We've already had sellouts. We'll go back and recap in a minute. When we've still got a few to go through. Oh, ooh. We're, okay, so we will get the PU again because it's been so popular and we can. Um, but at the moment, only six meters of this. Isn't this a gorgeous color? This is the green. It's like a sea green, a pea. Well, no, it's not pea green, sea green. Look at that. That's just fab. Uh, so for all your um, faux leather needs, basically. And it has, I don't know if, you can, if I pull that forward. Can you see it's got like that leather grain in it? And yet it's not real. So, you know, if you're vegetarian or anything like that, it's all good. 6.25 for a half a metre of that. Lots of you made some gorgeous bags. Actually, we've had some lovely photos of these, um, of these makes from this fabric. So if you've made anything out of that, let me know. What did you do? And in fact, Jennifer Mills says that that would be okay for a jacket. Could take months. Could take months to get it back in. Who knows? Oh, Dashwood. Dashwood already. We've I've only had this on a couple of shows. Can't get it. Only five meters. This is always a popular one though. Ah. Oh. oh no, it's not. It's Dash. It's not Dashwood, is it? It's Andover. It is Macau. Dashwood do quite a similar one. Uh, but this is yeah. This is Macau. Andover fabrics. Five forty-five for half a meter. Been very popular. Five meters left and that's it, Shh, gone. It's only 10 units. When you're buying by the half meter, of course, you will get it in one continuous length and it will be beautifully packaged. Shall I show you? There you go. Here it is. Um, so when you get it, it's gonna come in a little box. Firstly, oh, sorry, Jay. Uh, perfect for stacking. And secondly, it feels like a little gift to yourself, doesn't it? And then it'll all be, um, yeah, you'll get it in tissue paper. And then when everybody's happy, you get a sticker. And then it all gets, all gets sent. Sewing quarter, it's here. There you go. When we're happy, we pop a sticker on it, pop it in the post and off it goes. Uh, so there we go. That's what happens when you buy your fabric by the half a metre and it's cut in a continuous length. So we have um, some wonderful people in the warehouse that just cut the fabric to your specification. Isn't that great? It's like, yeah, I want this amount. Yeah. Altitude range. Really new. We've only had this for like a month. Uh, four metres left of this and we can't get any more. 
sad happy times sad because we can't get it again uh, but happy because so many of you have obviously got it so six pound fifty if you've got it and you love it and you need some more get it now six pound fifty kdad50 is your code there oh uh, well producer you're gonna have to be quick you, i know you've loved this ever from the start ever from the start that doesn't even make sense ever since the start be lovely as binding it'll be well you see it looks really modern and then you pop it with the other um dashwood fabrics oh, and it changes it up again we had actually we had some lovely bundles of this what's gone oh we've only got two meters Hang on, we had five a second ago so three meters already gone be quick please be quick this morning don't miss out gingham okay kind of seasonal we are able to reorder uh, but I don't think we will for a little while. But you know what, producer Hannah? Just going to say, just giving everyone a little heads up for what's coming next, another dashwood fabric. Don't they look gorgeous together? Yeah. Yeah. Just saying. This is the next one. This is your dashwood confetti coming up next. But this is your gingham at 4 95 for half a metre. Look how beautifully they work together. Ooh, maybe you want to line something in that. Or how about just as a contrast? Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Anyway, uh, this is your gingham. It's just one you should have. Four ninety-five per half a meter. Just have it in your stash. Just have it there. Don't know when it's going to be back, but you never know. You never know when you're going to need it. You never know when you know some sort of cowgirl calling will happen. Jay's Jay's nodding. He doesn't know when a cowgirl calling is going to happen for him either. No. Uh, hang on. We've only had this like two weeks. Produce Hannah. What's going on? Oh, only a metre and a half left of this. This has been so popular. It's really beautiful. Modern, but funky and fresh. Love it. And you have too. Please check out your baskets. Don't miss out on this. Only a metre and a half left of it. That's it. And then it's gone. £6.50 per half a metre. Dashwood Studios. We struggle to get it. We struggle to get it. We can't get it back again. Oh, I've just noticed the butterfly in there. I hadn't seen that before. Check out. Loads of you got it in your baskets. Now, let's recap some of them. Now, ah, oh, Lewis and Irene with the hedgehogs. Oh, mouse. I do know my animals. There is one with hedgehogs, isn't there? Uh, it's not a squirrel, it's a mouse. It's called mouse as well, which kind of gives it a little bit of a... It's a field mouse. There we go. My mum had a squirrel banging on her door the other day. She's like, what's that noise? What's going on? A squirrel knocking on her door. That doesn't happen every day, does it? <laughs> Hannah says, there was a tiger that came to tea at her. That's a book. Uh, the squirrel banged on my door is not a book. Uh, yet. You know, there might be a budding author there going, yeah, there's a book name. The squirrel that banged on the door. Uh, okay, so we've got, he's having a little nibble. He's having a little snooze down there. And uh, we've got all sorts of nutty goodness going on here. The last five metres. And then it's gone. That's it, can't get it again. So if you need a bit of nutty mouse goodness in your life, grab it now. I could see this with some of our um, pumpkin range colours. I could see that as a little backpack. I could see small people going off to school. Or I, I'm, I'm a bit obsessed with lunchbox bags. A lovely lunchbox bag out of this. It would be gorgeous. Love it. It's only 5 95 per half a metre. It's sad times, producer Hannah. Sad times that we can't get the back. But if you manage to get it, woohoo! <gasps> Jay, pass me that immediately, please, because, oh, producer Hannah, look, look, look. This has to happen with it. It has to. It has to. Yes, it does. Look. Look at that. Could you imagine those two together in a project? Ah, oh, so this is your needle cord. We will get it back. Don't know when bit tricky to get hold of we will get this back but look so half of this stock is already gone only five less than five meters of the mouse 
but look how beautiful they look together. You've got to do something with those two. That's just, that's just gorgeous. You can make a cushion out of needle cord. Absolutely you can. Like I've made my dog beds out of needle cord as well. I did like quilted panels and then, and then sashing in needle cord. It was lovely, even if I do say so myself. The square tilted doorstop that I made. Yes, produced Hannah. Oh, in this! The handle on the top and the bottom in needle cord and then the rest in the, in the mouse. Yes, I'm with you. I'm so with you. I'm also thinking about a lovely bag out of needle cord so you can just sit there and stroke it and then pockets and things in your mouse and have it all lined so that when you open up, you get a little pocket mouse or a lined mouse. I don't, it's cool, you know, do you, you can, what if you did, what if you did the, uh, the pinafore dress and lined it with this, lined your pockets in that or something? We get carried away. Anyway, uh, so that's, uh, you've got to be quick though to do any of that because uh, miss it, miss out. I don't know if the pink needle cord goes with it. Should we have a look? Obviously we're running out of it, so we've got to be quick. Um, I would say, huh, why not? I quite like, because I like orange and pink and yellow together. Yeah, only two and a half meters of it left. What, of the pink? Two and a half meters left of your pink. Please grab it while you can. Yeah. It doesn't show the needle cord as well on this, does it? What if I do it like that? Can you see it better there? There you go. That's your needle cord, and it's in pink, and it's super lush. Yes. Grab it. Actually, do you know what I really I like the brown and the pink together. But let's take out... Let's, let's get rid of the mouse, because he's going to sell out. I'm going to pop them in my trolley. Save Jay reaching. Um, I do love these together. Very much so. Mm. Yeah. So that's your brown on your screen. That away. And then that's the pink down the bottom of your screen. Bing! There. Yeah. <laughs> Did I just make it sound like a boat? Oh, I sound like a boat trying to dock. Hey, look, you know, I've got many talents. Uh, that's clearly one of them. I could do sound effects for radio, clearly. Mm. Oh, that wasn't one, was it? Was it deeper? Mm. It sounds a bit like a foghorn. Yeah, yeah. Any ships coming near here will be safe. 495 CRJQ10. What, what, what? Oh, Karen in Staffordshire says, my mum has squirrels burying nuts in her plant pots. <laughs> Glad I've checked out on fabrics before they went. Well done. Well done. <sighs> sneaky, little, sneaky little squirrels. What happens though, Karen, are they, are they going to be plant pots that your mum keeps out or is she going to have to bring them in when there's a frost? That would be confusing. They'll never find them. What if she puts them back in a different place just to bamboozle the squirrels? Actually, the squirrels are quite clever, aren't they? You know, they, ha they do all sorts of different... Haven't they done the experiments with squirrels to, um, to see how clever they are? And they set up lots of, like... Um, not... Yeah, no, no, like... like um, a bit like Go Ape for squirrels. Just to see how many things they can swing through and whatnot to get at nuts. I remember watching a programme. It was... Avid viewing. Uh, here's your, your cotton frou 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 fleury. Now, if I didn't think this was such a pretty fabric, I'd be really glad that we weren't getting this back in so I wouldn't have to try and say it again. Um, but, but I think it's really pretty, so I'm sad that we're not getting it back in again. And it's worth me trying to say it. Frou frou fleury. There you go. It doesn't exactly trip off my tongue, does it? Look at that. It wafts a treat. It's very fine. It's more of a lawn fabric. Oh, what if you lined this with your pink needle cord? Yes. Uh, or with the brown needle cord? Hannah says no. Well, I think that would be lovely. If you were making a jacket out of that brown needle cord, you could line it in this. That would be amazing. Nine ninety five for your frou frou fleury. It's almost like a warm up, isn't it? 
Very, very limited, apparently. My cotton dots. What about my cotton dots? How many cotton dots do I have left? Oh, we'll have a look. Uh, lots in baskets. Please check out your baskets. Don't miss out on any of these. We, we will get it again. Don't know when. Uh, we can't order this quick enough. I think a lovely picnic blanket in this. Yeah. It, yeah, picnic blanket. It, does, it just reminds me of summer dining. That's what this reminds me of. And producer Hannah says a bag. Make it into a bag. It'd be lovely as a bag. All of these things. It's a very versatile fabric, I think, is what we're basically trying to say. Yeah. Grab it. Miss it. Miss out. Don't miss out. It's beautiful. And um, although it is linen, look, it is actually cotton. 100% cotton, this one. So don't miss out on this. Yee. It's 3 95 What a cracking price as well. That's just fab. Absolutely fab. Right, come on, Jay. Give me that. Give me that bundle of fabric, and let's have a let's have a look through. Oh, Karen says the plants pots are her annual ones, and I've rescued a growing peanut. Yes, you do. Um, have to see if it overwinters. She says. I didn't. I, you see, producer Hannah says, "Can you grow peanuts?" But you have to because otherwise we wouldn't have peanuts. So you have to be able to grow them. But I just don't think they're. Yeah, well, I don't think they grow in this country. No, I, I do. Yeah, you see, producer Hannah found it amazing when she saw mangoes growing, you see. But you have entire mango groves, don't you? That's, that's you know, I know because, you know, I have to watch Octonauts with Freddie and there's always a mango grove going on somewhere. Um, Karen, let us, let us know about your peanuts. We need, we need, uh, we need to know about this ongoing as to whether or not your peanuts grow. Uh, things you never thought you'd say on live TV. Anyway, this is your red, blue and green brushed cotton check. It's 3.75 per half a metre. It is super, super soft. Lovely for those winter PJs. Now, is it blowing a hoolie still out there or has it, it was super still this morning. It was really windy last night, wasn't it? With all that funny sunlight yesterday. And then, and then it really did blow an absolute hooli last night. But then this morning, eerily still. Is Wales still getting it? Oh, poor old Wales. And Scot actually, Scotland's going to get it. And Ireland. I think Ireland's going to get the brunt of it as well, aren't they? Yeah, make sure you've got your washing in off the line. That's my advice to you. 375 RJJQ81. Or it'll just be uh, dry super quick. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, how much of this have we got left, producer Hannah? Don't know. Producer Hannah, how much of that do we have left? Does it, do I keep it out or put it away? Keep it out for now, but only just. It's in the. It's not going to be there for a very long pile. Along with altitude triangles, are they sold out? I'm sad for you, Hannah, because I know you wanted those. What next? What about me elephants? How are they doing? Elephants okay. Whew. We're not getting it again. It was lovely to work with, I can tell you that. And Freddie does love his lunchbox bag out of his elephants. Aprons, craft aprons for the kids. Or maybe just as, um, as something to put over the table when they demand the paint pots and stuff like that out. There's always that moment, isn't there? They always want to paint just before dinner. Why do they want to paint just before dinner? So annoying. No, not elephants. Mind you, elephants can paint. No, kids. And you go, oh, have I got time to then, you know, mop up the mess before I serve up dinner? Doesn't matter. Pop your elephants down. You can just wipe it clean. Job done. 11.95, ITHN81. It's not just elephants. There are mice and frogs and tortoises and everything in there. Uh, now... Three metres of your PU leather, basically faux leather. So we need to know. Um, and we don't know when we're going to get it back again. We will. We don't know when. But we just don't know when. This is so soft. Jennifer Mills, um, who's incredibly good at dressmaking, says, yes, you can make jackets out of this, which I think would be exquisite. Um, 
How much have we got left of this? Six metres? Three metres. Most people have ordered over a metre. Yeah, so if you are doing that, I mean, that could be one person could just swoop in and get that. That would be a very inexpensive jacket, wouldn't it? Actually. 625. DYJQ85. Yeah. Very, very soft. Very malleable. Beautiful for bags as well. All those things. It's all good. Now... Oh, the Blue Rhapsody. Mm, I would love to, but Jay's taken them. I don't know where they are. Jay's stolen them. Are they over there? Are they by you, cameraman Mike? Well, actually, it's a ward reading director, Mike, on cameras. It's a bit of a mouthful, though, isn't it? Uh, there, let's have a look at the white cotton canvas. Here it is, that one's, that one's down here. I've got that. Are we getting this one back? I can't remember, what did you say? Yeah, we are, but not yet. Just not yet. Just a really handy one to have in your stash. Actually, this looks really nice with the linen. Look at that together. I do like that together. Yeah. So this is your canvas. This is your linen. Um, and I think that they work beautifully together. Yeah. Hoo -hoo. Uh, so, beautiful for your dressmaking, the linen. And your canvas, great for bag making and things like that. Looks lovely together, doesn't it? So, 365 is your cotton canvas, is this one. And then this one, details down the bottom of your screen there. 5.95 for your linen. Oh, lovely. I do have the colour me in fabric. Do you remember how fast they sold? Oh, no, look. Look, 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 look. It's hiding under here. I found it. It's all right. Found it. Sorry, Jay, as you were. Whoops. He's just come wandering back in, going, I'm sure I left it for there somewhere. He did. He did. Uh, right. What do you want to do first, Pujitana? Blue Rhapsody. <sighs> Sad times that these can't come back because these have been so beautiful and such a popular collection. Oh, that would look really nice with the linen, actually, as well. Just saying. Maybe a nice bag out of the linen and then lined in this. But this is your Blue Rhapsody. This is your vintage flower. It's 8.45. It's utterly gorgeous. An absolute classic. And very sadly, we won't be getting it back. Ah, oh, message from Anne. She says, please stock all the cotton canvas. They're all so handy. Um, we're going to get the cotton canvas back. Don't worry. But it's just, it will become a staple. It's just sometimes we struggle to get it back immediately. Now, we just sell large quantities, but, you know, not all people do and not all people stock it. Uh, here we go. Now, this is the other... Uh, Rhapsody. So this is your uh, squiggles down the bottom there. 840, 8.42. Why the three pence, pence difference? I don't know. Possibly our mistake. Who knows? Make the most of it. Uh, so that's your fabric squiggles from the Blue Rhapsody range there. And that's this one here. But the tones all work. It's all from the same range. So, you know, it's just going to work. If you're quilting it, perfect. Maybe you just love this one. Go for it. Maybe you just love this one. Go for that one. 8.45. KQEQ71. Oh. And in Cheshire, with your cotton canvas, what about, what about, what about, what about, look, 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 look at about the, the, um, look at the canvas with the Rhapsody. It's really lovely, isn't it? Mm. I like that. It's lovely, isn't it? So you could do something really rather gorgeous. Yeah. So that's your Rhapsody. That's your cotton canvas there. Oh, I've got a question. Heather in uh, York, she says, Good morning, Natasha. Are you going to be doing the lovely quilts behind you? Ba -ba ah, now, stay with us for 10 o'clock 
and we will be showing you the bundles for that. Um, we made it, didn't we? Do we know which, which show that was? Oh, we'll have the dates for you in that hour, Heather. So stay tuned for 10 o'clock, and then I'll give you all the details for that, including something quite exciting, which I can't tell you about yet. Oh, the teasing, the teasing that happens. Um, oh, I do love this. And I know that, ah, oh, Mum, if you're watching, I think that you'd love this one too. Now, I was trying to get my mum to message in the show the other day, but she's too shy, she won't do it. Right, what are we looking at next? Colouring in? Yay, always a favourite. Which one would you like, the black and white or the... They're both black and white. The black one's down to a metre and a half? Whoa. Um, but what about doing a contrast? Hee hee. I think these would look fab together. Grab a half metre each, treat yourself. 8.45, but you colour it in. It's the fabric that just keeps on giving. I will find the fish. There it is. There it is. So you can colour them in. We've got the fabric pens. I think they're like twelve ninety five or something. They're on the website. Check them out. But we're not getting this fish design back again. So if you absolutely love it, or if you've got someone who um, has an aquarium in their life or just loves a few fish, then go for it. They can then colour it in. It's the gift that keeps on giving. Make them a bag. Pop the pens in it. Bob's your uncle. Well, it might not be, but, you know. Actually, I don't have an uncle, Bob, either. Oh, oh, it's all right. Producer Hannah does. There you go. Bob is actually your uncle. Does he, well, yeah, does he ever go by the name Bob or just Robert? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Uh, all good. Her dad calls him Bob. Right. This is a metre. And how much we got left of it? Oh, check out your baskets. Don't miss out on this. This is your perfect autumnal slash Christmassy fabrics. Maybe, maybe, maybe you want to do your um, stockings out of this. Yeah. Or maybe you can recover stools with it. I've got cushions, stag cushions, and a lampshade out of stag fabric, which we love. Yeah, look really nice. I see though, I noticed yesterday that my husband has stolen the lampshade and got that in his office now. Yeah, well, it is rude, Lucy Brennan. It is. And then I thought, actually, quite nice. Bit of a compliment, really. Because, you know, he doesn't always like everything I make because it's often quite flowery. It's not his thing. So I was like, yeah, I'll let you have the stag, the stab lampshade. But yeah, if you want to do something like that, grab this fabric. 4 95 per half a metre. VLFG79. In case you're wondering, I'm not just talking to myself. Lucy Brennan is in the studio, ready to go. She's, um, yeah, you're doing table mats, aren't you? Back by popular demand. Both Lucy and the table mats. Yeah, true. Uh, what else should we look at? Oh, let's check quantities. Bit of paperwork. Very low on. On my blue cross fabric, mm. I'm not surprised. This Macawa, and uh, it's actually quite wide, this one. Mm. Uh, this is your blue cross fabric. It's been incredibly popular. It's just a really handy one and a lovely blue colour. Actually, this would mix through with that, um, with that squiggly um, blue Rhapsody fabric. Yeah. Because look, you've got that darker blue through there. Da, 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 da. So if you were just finding blues, then there's your blue squiggle. That'd work. Yeah, why not? Because then you pull out the darker blue from there. Uh, blue squiggle down the bottom there, and then your cross fabric there. Cross fabric? I don't mean cross like angry. I mean as in the pattern. Me watty watty and cream. Trinkets on cream. Let's have a look at those, shall we? If you have just joined us, it's miss it, miss out. We either can't get them back, no matter how hard we try, or we just don't know how long it's going to take us to get them back. So if you've loved them, don't miss out on them. Uh, uh, 
with this one, yeah, I, I think no, Jay's taken it away. He's ahead of us. He's gone that. I know that's selling out. He's taken it. Um, how much of this one have we got left? This is a great mixer. Lucy Brennan, you, you know, you know a bit about quilts. Good mixer, this one. Yeah, oh, yes. She said, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, it helps if I get it around the right way. There we go. Uh, because it's just a fabulous neutral with a little bit of a difference. So 5.45 gets your trinkets quote on cre Oh, it's like quotation marks. Oh, I get it. Oh, nice, nice. Uh, 5.45 for that one. Hey, look, it's Miss It, Miss Out. Uh, if you've seen fabrics that you love today, either we're not getting them back or we don't know when we're going to get them back. So if you've seen them and you love them, please grab them. Don't be disappointed. It's Tuesday. It's too early in the week for disappointment. No, no, no. Grab it. Don't miss out on anything. Um, right, coming up next, we have got Lucy Brennan, back by popular demand with... Christmas placemats. They're the really, really pretty ones that went psh, like that. And you all went, can we have them back, please? Because, you know, we didn't get to see how to make them. And uh, actually, they went so fast that we didn't actually, you know, manage to get them. So they're back after the break instead of the machine feet show, which will be tomorrow instead, we think. <gasps> Go and grab yourself a cuppa. If you've just joined us, we're not really going anywhere. We're just having a quick break and then we'll be back in just one moment. So please do join us in just a couple of minutes. Join us on Facebook. Simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more. There are many ways you can watch Sewing Quarter. We are live every day on Freeview Channel 78 and online at sewingquarter.com from 8am till 12 noon. But if you've missed a show, don't worry, there are two easy ways to catch up. The first is through our website, www.sewingquarter.com, where we repeat that morning's shows throughout the day. On the homepage, you'll see our video stream. Click on the video to hear sound and see a list of the products that we have shown in that day's shows. The second way to catch up is on our YouTube channel. All our shows are kept on YouTube, so if you buy a product and want to see the demonstration again, you can. Go to www.youtube.com forward slash sewing quarter, where you'll find all our shows listed by date. Select your preferred date, then using the description beneath the video, jump to the hour you want to watch. Then you can pause, rewind, play and skip your way to the bits that you want to watch again. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. It's iconic, it's very British and it's coming to Sewing Quarter this autumn. For the first time in several years, Liberty is launching a new quilting weight fabric range and you can get your hands on it here. The English Garden Collection combines intricate florals with a pastel colour palette inspired by wild flowers. There are 23 prints to choose from, each one lovingly designed in Liberty's signature style. Whether incorporated into patchwork or used in their entirety, these 19th century inspired fabrics will turn any good quilting project into a little Liberty masterpiece. Our quilters will be demonstrating some project ideas to help you make the most of this fabulous new range. So watch this space to hear more about the Liberty English Garden Collection, coming soon to Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. Wrap up warm, pack up your supplies and get ready to take a trip to the North Pole with Joe Carter. On Saturday the 21st of October, Joe will unveil a brand new soft toy that's just perfect for Christmas, a cuddly polar bear. This delightful fleece creature has delicate hand embroidered snowflake motifs as a feature on its paw and chest for the added festive touch. Joe Carter and me, John Scott, will bring this character to life through a live demonstration. So don't miss our polar bear's exciting debut on Saturday the 21st of October at 9am. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. Do you think we could do our staff Christmas trip down to Liberty's? Oh, I don't need to because they're coming here. 
Oh, there you go. Job sorted. Uh, right. Hello. Now, this hour, yes, you've got me, Natasha McCarty, but we also have, which is far more exciting, Lucy Brennan. Yes, she's with us and she's doing Christmas placemats. These sold out so quickly. And what we wanted to do for you um, was something a little bit special. So the way that these work is you get a panel and this is Lewis and Irene again. Good old Lewis and Irene. They're a bit good, aren't they, at this kind of stuff? Um, this is the blue one. It helps if I get it upside down, that robin. And you can, you can either have, you've got a panel of four, so you can either have two like super, super swish, swish, swish ones, swish, swish, swish ones, can't even say it, uh, where you do sort of deer one side and then robin the other. Or what we've done, look, just gorgeous. We've given you half a metre of your indigo linen texture and also half a metre, linear, did I say linen? Sorry, linear, teeth back in. And then we've also given you a half a metre of your winter animals. Check these out. Look at these. Absolutely gorgeous. Just beautiful. And again, this is by Lewis and Irene. They just specialise in doing beautiful, beautiful uh, natural fabrics with animals and all sorts of nature based things in there. So we've got that, and there's your linear fabric in there. So maybe you want to just, um, you've got enough then to do all the backings for your mats so that you get four special place mats. Does that have to be place mats, or could it be? You see, it? Mm. I might want to do it just as a panel, just as like a Christmas panel. What do you think? Would that work? You could do it as a Christmas panel, couldn't you? So 18.49, already lots of you put in the mini bags. Don't miss out. Um, don't be that person that's sad. Uh, so that's your first bundle. Oh, and you get thread in there as well. Let's have a look at everything we get. Yes, yes, yes. 18.49. Um, so you get half a metre of those, uh, of the blue indigo and the animals. And then you get your four panel of your placemats and you get your thread. Happy days. It's a mega bundle. I uh, know. Maybe, yes, but Natasha, my Christmas colours are red. Doesn't matter, I've got red for you too, yeah. So this is your panel here. dun ka -da dun ka dun ka dun Yeah, look at that. Pretty, isn't it? It's a lovely red. You know how some reds have that orangey base to them? This doesn't, this has a bluey base, so it's a much warmer red. It's beautiful, isn't it? And then kind of maroon stags. You're going to have a stag? Why not make it maroon? And your robin. Now, what is the robin? The robin is the, um, it's sort of like our national bird, isn't it? I think. I believe. No, I think that's a fact. I think you can Google it. Loads and loads of you have got this in your basket. Can't believe that Director Tim would even question my ornithological knowledge I, I don't know I think I think they are uh, half a meter of this oh this is your snowflake scene fabric on wine we like a bit of wine but maybe not this early in the morning nah, don't know not gonna not gonna judge uh, and then you get half a meter of your spectrum solid Christmas red Yay! That's it. Oh, and your thread. Don't forget your thread. That's all in there for sixteen forty nine. The um, price difference is only due to the difference in the fabrics that's in there. That's all it is. Very, very popular. This red one, um, already half the stock is in baskets. Don't miss out. Don't miss out. Please don't miss out. Oh, Lucy, what are we doing with it? It. Yay! <laughs> of course we are. Now, hello. Hello. Haven't seen you for a while. I know. I know. You well? Missed you. I am very well. I missed you. you too. Blue one is your main graphic over there. Love it. Yeah, I love it. I love robins. Robins are very special to me. I do love robins. And why are they special to you? They just start special to me and my family. It's Aww, a nice it's symbol. A thing. Yeah, it's a family thing. Um, so we love them. Love seeing them. Love seeing them in the garden. 
I have one in my garden, quite a friendly one. Yeah. And he's getting friendlier by the day. Because we've only been there sort of six weeks. But he's there. Yeah. yeah, they're really nice. And they just pop up, don't they? And yeah. they're so pretty. And it's obviously, it's a lovely symbol of Christmas as well, isn't it? Um, so I'm going to quilt these. Okay. So turning them into quilted... Um, placemats there's a couple of things i want to mention um, before i get started i'm going to do a bit of free motion quilting mm -hmm. could go horribly wrong but hopefully it'll be, it'll hey, be okay like TV. Could possibly it's a lot go of wrong. pressure yay which i'd just like to say she put on herself <laughs> I did. like we didn't make i could have done some straight lines but you could have no. done straight lines you could have just followed that line motion. couldn't you no, I could. but no, I could. no 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 you decided to go crazy yes, i'll just go for it um so I've split this in half. Okay. So when you were saying about it being, you know, like a, um, you panel. know, a decorative, uh, keeping it as the whole yes. panel, there is a line that runs between the middle of it, a, a dotted red line where you can cut, but you could just stitch over that. I'd put a ribbon. So yes, Christmas a ribbon. ribbon, anything. Yeah, yeah, you could just put something to cover up. And that then line. I could tuck my Christmas cards on there. Lovely. Done. Nice. Ribbon in between, in yep. those spaces there. Yep. Oh, lovely to hang your cards yep. on. It'd be a shame because you'd be covering a bit of that. Yeah, but you but see, it would work. It nicely. would be as, as you know, you'd have this hanging up and yes. it'd be all in all its glory. And then the more cards you got. Just the very special cards could yeah. go on it, couldn't they? So yeah, you like can the see a little bit of it through. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> not like the little ones that, you know, have come in a multi pack. No, no. No, not, not those, those ones. ones. Not no. those ones. Although, like if it's special sometimes ones. left for charity, that's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Um, and what I love about this is there's lots of motifs in here. So you've got. Um, mistletoe. Mistletoe. <laughs> <laughs> Together we'll get there. Lucy needs uh, another mistletoe. coffee. Mistletoe, berries, berries yeah. holly and berries, yeah. <laughs> stars, spots, stripes. On this one, you've got some sort of a decorative branches. Trees, <laughs> all snowman. of those things that we uh, associate with Christmas yeah. or a decorative, a, a decorative branch. branch. <laughs> Another robin. robin. Yay! More stars, feathers, which is a lovely quilting motif, very traditional. Oh, lovely! Um, so the feathers are lovely. You know, a little sprig of something or the other. <laughs> and the and the stags. I'm You're doing as well this morning, as I? I am. I right? am. Yeah. Sprig of something over a here. Sprig it's of all something. Lovely. Yep. Yeah. 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 Well, they might be fern. Oh, feathers and ferns. Feathers Whatever and they ferns. are, beautiful. All works. Yes, yep. it all works. <laughs> so there's lots that you can play with. Um, for quilting patterns and, and for quilting it. So I thought it would be a fun one to do free motion because we can work off what's already there. Um, we don't the do fabric. enough free motion. No, and it's fun, it's lovely, it's really nice to do. So I've got some tips on um, free motion and we'll see how mine works out. <laughs> it's the worst going to happen, it's only live TV, it's all fine. Uh, now, okay, so, how are we putting this together? So what I did is I've cut the um, backing fabric. So you could quilt this all in one go even if you're making four placemats yes you could just baste it as, as one panel okay. and then you cut it after okay. you quilted yeah, yeah, yeah. And it that's absolutely fine it. and especially if you um you know if you have a long arm or if you wanted to have it long armed um, or you just want to do an all over pattern you can just quilt it in one go and then cut it into smaller pieces. But if you're new to quilting, actually mm -hmm. chopping it into smaller amounts yes. is easier. Now, um, easier. this is all beautifully on here. Did you spray baste that? I did spray baste it. I love a bit of spray basting. It's my favorite method of um, basting, particularly if I'm doing a lot of detailed quilting or free motion quilting, because there's nothing, you know, you don't have you don't have to keep stopping and take pins out. There's nothing to get in the way. It's no. a really easy surface to the work The spray with. based we've all been waiting for. Yes, we da, have. Da, 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 <coughs> is here. Did you see what we did there? It's I mean, marvelous. it was seamless, wasn't it? Just <laughs> beautiful. Uh, five, oh, apart from I've got it the wrong way around. I oh, know I haven't, there it is. 505, this is the spray baster of choice. It is. Yes. For our quilters. This is what I use at home. Repositional fabric spray. Yes. Jay couldn't say it either, uh, earlier either. None mm. of us can say it. Repositionable. Repositionable. Basically, spray it if I'll you don't have the you. right place. Yes. Move it around a bit. You can just lift very it forgiving. up. Peel it back. Very for forgiving. So if you get a ripple, you just peel it back. You don't need to spray anymore. Nope. You just literally reposition it. 
and, and smooth it out. This is the one the quarters use and it will wash out. Yes, washes out really, Hurrah. really easily. Doesn't leave any stiffness in your quilt at all. Um, you want to spray it in a very well ventilated area with no pets in the room, no children in the room. And so evacuate everybody. <laughs> Not, it's not that bad. You know, some some aerosols are very, very aerosol-y. That is not the right word, but you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, and it isn't like that actually. Um, but just to be on the safe side, you, you know. Um, Do you know what my top tip would be? Yes. Don't spray it without covering your carpet. Yes. You need to protect whatever's underneath. Yeah, I I didn't. I had to wash my carpet, carpet afterwards. No, not a good so idea. I can say it actually does wash. Let's wash out. Happily. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah and I do, do it on my, I just have like a laminate floor, so I do it on that and then I just give it a mop afterwards and it will just Shop wipes them. off really, really easily. Um, and you just need a very light hand. You're not, you know, you want to keep it far away. It's not silly spring, is it? Uh, do you remember the no, silly yes, string? Yes, <laughs> no, yeah. Mm. Spray everywhere. Um, so that. just very lightly, keep it about 30 centimetres away and just very lightly. Mist it. Mist it. And don't, go for a long time you sort of do a little bit yeah. stop give it another shake and do another another little bit but it's very very quick very easy yeah. and you want to spray it onto the wadding don't spray your fabric onto the wadding don't spray your fabric okay. spray your wadding if you spray your fabric it gets wet okay. and, and you don't want that so spray and and, it, and it's too much it, it you know whereas it it seems to work better um, to um, spray the wadding. Producer Hannah says it doesn't clag your needles. No, it doesn't. And if you... Then she wasn't sure if claggy was actually a word. <laughs> We're going with <laughs> Not yes. Not sure, but yes, we know what yeah, you mean. Yeah, claggy. Um, if, it, if you do find um, that you, it, your needle is getting a little bit sticky, you might have just been a bit heavy-handed with the glue, just wipe your needle off. And it's fine. You just carry wipe on. it off and it's fine. You can carry on. Nice. Yes, yeah, no nice. problem. Uh, so 7 95 for the adhesive. You've sprayed, you've adhered yes in a repositionable styling exactly uh, what do we do next um just one other thing to bear in mind is that your fabrics are going this i mean it doesn't really matter but you ideally you want them the same way yes not upside down yes although you could just flip it yes around the other way if that was the case what wadding have you oh we've we've so the wadding that we've suggested I think it's a different one actually for what you've used. It is, is the sorry. premium polyester craft wadding. You just uh, delved into the uh, into the old the bin, warm and into, white. Yeah, it's warm I white. did. <laughs> warm white is on the website if you want exactly what Lucy's got. But if you just want a wadding that's quick and easy, we've got our premium polyester two ounces of this, and it's meat squared. It's a really handy one. That's and that's uh, great if you're just doing minimal quilting, straight line quilting. Great. If you're Job doing done. free motion, I would use a quilter's wadding. Okay. That would be my recommendation. So four ninety five for that. It's whatever's going to suit your uh, your pocket. Yeah, absolutely. Like and people may not want to quilt them. No. They don't need to be quilted. You could just sew around the outside and turn. If you're going through. for the warm and white, what's fabulous about it? First, you go to the website. It's all on there. But secondly, it means that all of these whites stay true white. Yeah. Nice and bright. Fabulous. Mm -hmm. Excellent. What do we do now? Okay, so I'm going to um, attempt to do some... No, <laughs> I'm gonna What's do... your thinking here? Uh, yeah, we're going to give it a go. <laughs> I'm going to do See free motion go. quilting. I'm, I do free motion quilt, um, but it is one of those things that um, oh. you need to practice. Yes, sorry. The red one's sold out. Oh. Already. Gosh. Sorry to interrupt. That was fast. But yeah, no, well, it came as a bit of a shock to all of us. So well done if you managed to get the red one. Gosh, that was quick. Uh, I won't interrupt again. Go okay, on. Well, no, that's okay. <laughs> can't promise. Um, free motion quilting is one of those things that you do need to practice. And um, if you haven't done it for a while, you're better having a little go just to get back into the rhythm of to it. The swing. Yeah, get back into the swing of it. So um, a couple of things to mention. This machine is, you know, sort of, automatic so it can sort of does everything for me um really you may need to um just adjust your tension or play with the settings have a look in your manual for the settings for uh, free motion quilting i have dropped my feed dog so there's just a little um button on the side there that will drop or lower the feed dogs so. now this is the 680 that we're using today this is your machine well not this actual one no you have this one i don't carry home. it with me every time i come on the show <laughs> That you would be a Lucy. bit much, <gasps> but I do Looking have, I do have this. At the station, this is the machine along. that I, this is my 
only machine that I use all the time at home. Really? Yes. The old one's gone. The old one went back to my mum because <laughs> it was my oh, mum's. Oh, so I'm giving it back to oh, her. Like my... And is she saving again? Um, I don't know. I'm not sure she's used it yet, actually, but she's away on her holidays. Oh, so. is she? Oh, she, she won't she be using it then, having a lovely she? time. Oh. Um, but I... Um, Yes, this is, this is what I use all the time. And for free motion quilting, I have to say, it's a joy. It's, it makes it really, really easy. You get all your feet and everything you need with it. Yes. Um, and again, it's on the website if you want it. Uh, lots of our guests only ever want to use this one when they come in because yeah. they absolutely love it. Yeah. And uh, when we had a competition winner in, she was amazed at how quiet it was and how smooth. Yes, it's lovely. Yeah. Really, really nice. So I've got the darning foot on or the free motion foot. Okay. And um, that's what I'm going to be using. And this one has a nice clear... Um, foot <laughs> at the base of it yes. so that I can see you know where I'm Does going. Does anybody I'm, darn so. anymore? I imagine they do. I don't. <laughs> but uh, I imagine people you do. Did you darn? Oh I can just show. Yeah there is a darning stitch. Yes produce Hannah. Oh, no, I'm going to show go. the pattern that I'm going to be doing. I don't know how well this is going to show up. I should, really well. I should have done it in another colour, but, you know, that would just be a we'll, bit too much. We'll get in. We'll get in close. Oh, yeah. you know what we have had of late? Mm. Those metallic threads. Oh, that would be lovely. Ooh, that yes. would be really nice. Oh, there you go. You can see very clearly But you get, you get your navy thread with, with the whole bundle. So if you're going for the bundle, it's 1849, and you get that thread in there with it. Yeah. So I'm going to do Holly and... Um, berries so I'm going to do that as my um, pattern because you know Christmas you can yeah you can because it's Christmassy it's one of those iconic Christmas uh, brunchy things isn't it? <laughs> it's one of those lovely brunch things so when you're free motion quilting the yes. first thing that you want to do is bring up your bobbin thread and the reason that you want to do that is to stop getting appropriately a bird's nest on the back where all that thread gets okay. tangled up yeah. together so you want to lower your foot and I use the um, you know hand crank and just pull that thread and I don't know if you'll be able to see but that's just caught time. that bottom thread and then I just use the scissors to pull that out and there you go I've got my two threads there so I've got my bottom thread and my top thread on the Uppermost. on the ups upside so no no uh robin's nest so no robin's nest so then what i'm going to do is i'm going to hold on to these threads as i begin mm -hmm. and once i've moved far enough away i can just stop and go back and clip them off so that do they don't do get tangled up do you do a holding up. stitch to start off with? yes so i can just do a couple of little stitches in place um or just a, you know a little a little line but not moving too quickly so i've got um, so yes, it's just going to hold them in place, but I don't do like a locking stitch because that makes a bit of a knot on the back. Oh, okay, yeah, that was the one I meant. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I just, I just sort of um, pause really mm. in place. So you'll see as I'm going along. So just like that, and okay. then start moving. If you're unsure, Lucy, can yes. you get a water erasable pen or a chalky pen or something and just draw on and then just trace? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, there's no reason why you can't do that. I'm going to have to move those out of the way because I've blocked myself in. So I'm just very lightly. And then I like to do a little line. No, I do go quite fast. And do some little circles. And then I can just do like a squiggly line to move to my next... Um, point and then just trim those fab trim those threads off sorry I just stick those in there and then just keep going so um when you're doing something like this you can do a bit of forward planning and decide where your motifs are going to be and then where your connecting lines um are going to be you could do the the leaves individually but it's a lot of stopping and starting and okay. the idea really with free motion quilting is that you just can just keep going flow. and keep going um so this pattern has like your leaves and your berries and then a connecting line that's just going to swirl them all oh, nice. together. Um, if you find you've backed yourself into a corner, you might need to stop. So just do a, you know, a few little stitches in one place Again, just hold and it. that's secure enough. Then you can just uh, cut those off. We don't often do free motion because 
you know, I think a lot of our designers are worried because it's on live on TV mm -hmm. and sometimes it doesn't always go according to plan. Uh, so if you have any questions, because it's not something that we often do, get them in now to Lucy. So either email, which is uh, studio at sewingquarter.com or the little message box on the, web on the website underneath where you're watching live. Then get those messages in and um, they should do their best to answer them. Yeah. I, and I, you can doodle as well. So if you doodle the pattern that you want to make first yes. with a pen pencil and paper um, initially, that helps your brain just think about the way that you're, you know, how you're going to be drawing it out. Because essentially you're just doodling. That's all it On is. Fabric. You're just doodle it's stitching. Doodle. Yes. But then... Um, it's actually like you're moving the paper under the pencil if you were drawing. Yes. That's what free motion is like. And when I, when I thought about it like that, that actually helped me a lot to think about, oh, well, I'm not actually drawing like you would with a pencil. Yeah. It's, it would be as if I'm moving the paper. So you even can practice doing, doing that. it that way. You know, maybe with a pen might be easier <laughs> than a pencil. But just to get it, to get into the habit. But doing small pieces like this is far easier to begin with. It's a great start than a project, whole quilt. Isn't it? Um, yeah. On your screen at the moment, you have got the details for the machine because some of you are asking about the machine uh, because it is perfect for this and also for quilting. It's a fabulous all rounder. Um, and then details down the bottom there for the blue base mat bundle, which is what Lucy is quilting onto. Oh, okay, going up into the stripes. Yeah. And love that ticking effect. And different people have, you know, you can use uh, quilting gloves and things like that to give you more grip if you want to. This one's a really nice pattern because it's just quite forgive, you know, it's quite forgiving. It's easy to see what it is. Yeah. So you don't need to be too sort of precious about it. This is looking lovely. I'm just going to stop and reposition. Sometimes you do find yourself gripping, you know, and yeah. you don't want you don't want to be doing that. You just want to try and hold on to it lightly, but you can get quite tense when you're free motion Relax, quilting. So, breathe. And it's okay to stop, you know, it's fine to stop, especially if you have a needle down. If your machine doesn't have a needle down, it is a little bit trickier because you want to stop with your so needle down. So hand crank it down. So I would hand crank it do down anything. before you okay. stop. Yeah, exactly. Well, the top tips coming out today. Uh, so if you've got any questions for Lucy, messages, and uh, you know, we'll we'll see what we can do about getting those answered. So this is one of those things. You get into the swing of it, you sit there, yeah. and it's a really enjoyable thing to do. I have started free motioning. Lovely. And um, just actually, I used. Um, you know, we did the threads. Mm -hmm. where you print your your picture onto your fabric. Oh, yeah. So then I had, I sort of went around the outline of some of the things that I printed. Oh, yeah. So that it gave idea. me, it gave me a, a sort of a base. Yeah. And that's very, you know, um, patterned fabrics are great to have a practice on where, where you've got those lines already, you know, then you can clearly see, um, you know, and use them like a almost like a dot to dot you know yeah absolutely there's no you know s s some people say oh you, you can't do it this way you can't do it that way but i think whatever's the easiest whatever makes the most sense when you're practicing you know there's there's no harm in doing it that way at all and it's you know a good what? way to learn in saying there is no quilting police no there are no quilting police so uh, it doesn't matter just give it a go and if it works for you and it looks lovely then just go for it exactly whatever design and it just allows you to be creative in another way doesn't it it does and it's just you know it's all just practice it's about getting the speed and and the rhythm of your movement working together to get you know try to try to get nice even stitches that was what surprised me because i'm so used to obviously as soon as you've got your feed dogs up they feed through at a constant rate and of course what i hadn't sort of allowed for was the fact that your feed dogs are down. So the stitch length is however fast you are pulling yeah. this through. It's you that's making the stitch length. Yes. So you're determining the size of your stitches. So if I move, um, move the fabric very quickly and the machine is going slow, mm. that's going to make big stitches. Yes. 
Whereas if the machine's going quickly and I'm going quickly, you know, it should get nice and even. But if I start to um, slow down and move, move quickly, you just, it, it will change, you know, it will change. So probably I slowed down up here, so I'm probably going to have some slightly bigger stitches. If I pause, it's going to end up, you know, with a little knot. But I think you can get very, um, you know, drawn into that. I'm very concerned about, well, my stitches aren't, aren't I'd just go for it because that will come with time. You'll find your rhythm There's as you're doing it. Exactly. And that's by doing it. Exactly. And actually, I, it's, it's like with the quilts that I've made. I look at the early ones that I've made and, you know, they're not great, but I love them. Yeah. And actually, it gives me a, a great thing to look at and go, that's, that was my starting point. Look exactly. how far I've come. Exactly. And, and they're not, you know, lovely. something like this where you've got leaves, you know, leaves aren't all one shape or one... You know, so yeah, doing sort of it. natural it's elements, awesome. exactly. It's a really nice thing uh, to do. Sandy doing. and Cornwall says, morning, ladies. Um, Lucy, thank you. Free motion at last. You're the best. Oh, thank you. I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> I, I don't know. You know. She's not coming into this. It's you. You are the best. Thank you. Yeah. That's very uh, sweet. Thank you. A message from Sheila. Oh, it says, morning, Natasha. Lucy, it's not come down on me. Fab show, thank you. Please, more free motion quilting, you see. Big girl pants on, give it a good That's go. That's it, just yeah. give it a go. I want a question. Oh, oh, Yvonne in Worcestershire says, um, oh, on behalf of somebody else, she says, Irene Worsey has an old Janome machine, uh, bought free motion foot with a darning plate just gets the thread going into a bird's nest have any suggestions that was the very first thing that yeah you said, it wasn't probably it? is the fact that you're not bringing up the the um thread from the bottom right so bring up the thread from the bottom and hold on to those threads and then start and, and then that away. should stop any birds nesting if as you're going along it's constantly birds nesting is that with a tension an, thing um Possibly, you can try adjusting your tension, but it shouldn't be. With an old Janome, I would try it with your feed dogs up. And I know that goes against everything that everybody else really? tells you to do. Yes. But there's um, uh, a famous quilter who does a lot of free motion um, called Leah Day, and she works with her feet up. And on the Janome that I'd borrowed from my mum, hated it with the feed dogs down and would only do good free motion with the feed dogs up so my suggestion would be try, try with it. with the feed dogs up and see if that makes a difference because it it's just be worth it try, just made it? it more e it just made it more even it was happier doing it that way so give that a go as well all machines are a little bit different aren't yeah. they so there we go and uh, michelle in lincolnshire says good morning what is the difference between this spray and the 404 so the 505 is for fabric. The 404 is more of a spray, uh, a craft repositionable. Yeah, I think you can use the 404 on fabric as, as well. But this is I specifically think it's for fabric, the specifically 505. Specifically for fabric, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it doesn't recommend using this for anything other than fabric. But the 404 is, is a, a general craft repositionable spray. And I know, that I just know this one as the one that patch, most patchworkers um, recommend yes so there you go see we've got all the instructions on the back it's how to use it fab there we go uh this is actually coming together remarkably it is quickly. i'm going to keep going so Do i'll it. try and go sort of as quickly as i can without messing up uh so the machine is coming up on the on the page because lots of you asked me about that and this is you might have heard of Lucy's story actually with this machine you came, didn't you, on our um, Get to Know the I Machines did. before we go live to air day and fell in love with it. I did, completely and fell in love. Your dad and your nan, I want to say, right. got together. They did. And bought it for you. Very kindly. It was near my birthday. So that was my um, incredibly special treat from them. So I'm very fortunate. But they said to you, didn't they, you are a professional? Yeah, that's what my nan said. <laughs> and you should have a machine that reflects that. Yes. And that you've got the back since, haven't you? No, I it. haven't. And I, and I have to say, you know, they say 
you're as good as the tools that you use, don't they, sort of a thing. And it has made a big difference. And I, and I look back now on the first things I made and I go, how did I ever do that on that really basic machine? It just was more work. It, it was hard work. It was hard work. It was, Which is, it and, was and this is the crazy work. thing, isn't it? Is that sometimes you think, oh, you know, uh, I'm, I'm only new to this. I don't know if I deserve something, you know, yes. really good. Actually, yeah, you do, because it makes it easier, makes it more enjoyable. So you're going to do more of it, and that's how it goes. Lisa says, um, when we first learn to walk, we are awkward and clumsy. Same with free motion quilting. Yes. Get to know your machine, and the more you do, the better you get. Thank you, Lisa. I'm still a bit awkward and clumsy. To be and they're, they're not all the same. You know, they're not all the same. Some of the things I'm saying, you know, it really is dependent upon your machine. Well, that's really interesting what you say about the Janome. You yeah. know, give it a go with your feed dogs yeah. up, possibly, especially if you've got an older model, things like this. Because the sewing machines, they do evolve. They, they have come on in, a, in amazing ways. Yeah. So it might be that with an older model. And they're right. all, all machines have different personalities. Yes. Which, you know, some people think I'm crazy that I give my machines names, but they are all completely different. And so you have to treat, you know, you have to treat them differently. Once you finish that off, I'm going to go yep. and have a look at the bundles. And do you know what else? We've got a couple of other treats for you. Yes, we have. Now, the blue bundle, this is what Lucy's working on at the moment. Half the stock is gone. The red's all gone. Uh, the blue bundle, half the stock... Half of this stock has gone, so if you want it, we're bringing this back because it was so popular. So there were so many of you wanting it and didn't manage to get it last time that it just had to come back. So you've got half a metre of this beautiful fabric. Or Lewis and Eileen, Eileen, Irene, I don't know who Eileen is. Come on, Eileen. It's not her. Half a metre of that one. Uh, then you get your panel with your four placemats there. And then, do you want to see all of it, producer Hannah? Yes, yes. Let's unfold that there. There we go. So I think this would look lovely as a panel as well. And then, so you get all four placemats there. Diddly dee. It's lovely. And then what we've put with it is a half a metre of your indigo linear fabric there. So that then means that you can use that as the backing for your placemat and save all your beautiful fabrics for, you know, the special front bits. Yes. You could make little Christmas cushions. They don't have to be placemats, I've just thought. They'd be make lovely cushions. 18.49, and you get your thread as well. So don't forget that. All in for 18.49. Fabulous. Uh, now, that's your bundle. HHGC 55. Christmas fabric by the half metre. Uh, yes, please. Why not? So if you love the robins and you need more robins in your life, then why not? Here we go. This is more Lewis and Irene fabric. They do like a bit of nature, don't they? So you see, lovely with some free motion around it. Or you could make little uh, ornaments for your Christmas tree with this. You could make some little uh, stuffed baubles, couldn't you? Five ninety-five, or you could just make Christmassy quilts with it. L A L W zero eight. Now this is available by the half meter, which is rather wonderful. So you can get as much as you like. But as we discovered in our miss it miss out hour, um, your Lewis and Irene fabric always very popular. Ooh, I like it with that background. That's lovely. Look at that. Robins on wine, giddy robins, why not? <laughs> Director dips his wands upside down, it's clearly had too much wine. Uh, 5 95 but it's a lovely multi-directional print. That's why, you know, you've got robins all over the shop. Oh yes, a bag to give wine in, a wine bag. Mold wine, oh, is it too early for mold wine, producer Hannah? No, oh, no, a resounding no from producer Hannah there. It's cold and she likes wine, therefore mold wine is the one. Hang on a minute. Oh, I've just realised. This is the scene that's in the middle of your placemat. Shall I put it next to the placemat and then you can see? It's just it, but smaller and with blue trees. Oh, here we go, I've got to lift it up. I've got, there we go. 
So that's your placemat there. That's your placemat. And then you've got a little version of it there. Isn't that pretty? I'm going to take it away so you don't get mixed up um, or confused. This is lovely. And you can get this again by the half metre. Look at that. Really stunning. Oh, yeah. And you've got a little mini snowman, Anne and Robin. And it's all kind of sitting in a snowflake. Pretty. Very pretty. I like that. Beautiful fabrics. Um, is this the first time, Producer Hannah, that we've had these by the half metre? I haven't seen these. You haven't seen them. Director Tim, have you seen them? No. Nope. Uh, Award winning director Mike, who's on cameras? No. 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 There we go. Uh, oh, look at this. Here's it on a, on a sort of a, a grey background. There you go. Maybe you want a contrast. This is on your cream. Different feel, isn't it? Suddenly that green's popping out. Five ninety-five for your snowflake scene fabric on cream. From a countryside winter range. There you go. Told you, Lewis and Irene, they love a bit of countryside. Right, well, we'll we will get back to Lucy in just a moment. Did you want to have a look at any more of these? <gasps> Robins on silver? They're getting all over the place, aren't they, the Robins? There we go. Let me just show you that there. Robins on silver. Five ninety five. Lovely. Oh, so producer Hannah's seen that one before. Oh, mm, don't know if you've just seen it in the studio loitering around. Look at this though. You know we had the um, we've got this in blue in your bundle, but look, we've also got it. Yeah, and I'm not unfolding all of this because uh, I'm not very good at folding it back again. But look at that. Isn't that lovely? What a beautiful fabric. Autumnal into winter. Perfect. 5 95 per half metre. This is your winter animals on wine. Animals on wine. Look out. <laughs> Festive animals. All on wine. Hey. Uh, and then the last one to show you by the half metre, so you can get as much as you like, is this one. It's the red version. This, this might be a on wine situation as well. Are they all on wine? They're all on wine. Let me just show you actually how wide all these fabrics are. There you go. That's how wide all of these are. And this is your snowflake scene on wine. Beautiful. Beautiful. 5 95 per half a metre. There we go. Uh, Lucy, I'm coming to get you. Not get you. That's, uh, <laughs> sounds a bit scary, doesn't it? <laughs> Hiya. I'm back Don't again. Don't get me. Um, lovely. What can I say? Beautiful. Thanks. Just gives that so I've just texture. done that one because I knew I was gonna, I'd run out of time if I started doing that one. But you could maybe do feathers on that one, you know, or stars or something like that. Um, so I'm going to spin that around go, yes. so that everyone can appreciate that. Because, you know, it's gone well. It didn't go disastrously. <laughs> you just can't give yourself a pat on the back, can no, you? No, I cannot. It didn't go disastrously. Because you always, when you make something, you're always going to pick out faults with it do you know what i mean oh, but i think when lovely. you if i go away for an hour and come back and look at it i'll go oh that's pretty <laughs> if but when I'd you've just done it, done it you it was see lovely. every tiny little thing that you oh, think well, you've done wrong you it's know. lovely but what i'll just um talk quickly you when you're um you know free motion quilting or really any kind of quilting obviously you want to fill as much of the space as you yeah. as you i mean you can do as little or, or, or as as little or as much as you mm. like um but you want to try and get down um you know towards the edges certainly in sections just so that as you come to trim it, it it's all held out. together um Ooh. so i did because i i did a sort of a wiggle thing here i just put an extra one in the corner and that as a motif would have looked nice actually had a left room in the corners you know to have that yes. um to have that going all the way you know, in each corner well, and happily, then have this going round. You have another one in your set of placemats. Do you? So, you could so then... more to play with. Uh, Jane in North York says, Hi, are you using a bobbin fill thread for free motion? Great show, says Jane in York. I am just using the thread that comes with the kit in the, um, in the bobbin. And we you are can see that there. getting bobbin fill in. So we, yes. it's on our list of things to get. Now we've got a new warehouse, exciting yeah. times. Yeah. Um, now the other question that I had a second ago was what type of thread, cotton or polyester, and what weight? 
I'm using polyester. You can use either for free motion quilting. Okay. Um, either is absolutely fine. A lot of long armors will use polyester. Some prefer cotton. It's really, you know, it's preference, isn't it? It's preference. Perfect either preference. either works um, perfectly well. I would stick with the same in your bobbin and as your top thread. Um, not necessarily the same weight, but either cotton or polyester. I wouldn't mix um, them, but uh, stick with whichever one. Um, I like to use, I'll use like a, a, a bobbin thread or I use the 50 weight um, orifil in my bobbin. That works really well works for well. free motion. So have a play with it. Try know, different ones. Christine's got in touch and she says lots of professional people only do free motion with the feed dogs up, especially on more basic machines. Thanks for backing me up, Christine. <laughs> Thank you. Going out on a limb there, Lucy, I do, but no, no it's I true. Do, it is true, and I, I particularly, I agree, especially on more basic machines or older machines, things that don't have a lot of the automatic functioning um, do seem to work better. And in my experience, you know, with my older machine, it did work better with the feed dogs up. So that might be uh, some, something else to play about with. And I will say as well, they wouldn't give you tension dials and feed dog up and down buttons on the machines if they didn't expect you to play with them. Do you know what I mean? So it's not something to be fearful of. Or if I, you know, if I do this, am I going to break my machine? You're not going to. Obviously, be gentle with it and read your the particular manual that comes with your machine. Um, but but they wouldn't put them there mm. if it wasn't intended to be used that way. So get some scraps. Yeah, you know, great. this is why yeah. we keep our scraps, isn't it? So yes. that we can do things like this and have Just a make up little practice. quilt sandwiches. If you do it with the spray based, it saves you bother because you are then free to move without uh, stopping and starting. Okay. So especially if your machine doesn't have a needle down position, I would really recommend spray basting because okay. it keeps it's all... very difficult to keep your lines nice and straight if your machine doesn't, oh. doesn't uh, go down. Okay. Um, we've had a message from Sharon. She, it's an email. She, she doesn't want to quilt her. She doesn't feel comfortable That's to quilt fine. yet. Does yeah. she have to? No. Oh, there you go. No, you don't have to. It's, it's small enough, isn't it's it? It's small enough that it will that it will be fine. You know, you're going to stitch around the edge. It might bag a little. You know. Do you know what you could do though, and that is just stitch. Uh, just stitch around that on that dark bit as well. Yeah, you could. And also, if you, um, you know, don't feel comfortable quilting, you don't want to use a machine, but maybe you're okay doing a bit of embroidery, even like just a couple of little cross stitches in the centre there with, yeah. with some embroidery thread, that will just hold it down. Well, embroidery thread won't stand up to lots of washes, but you could do it even with a bit of cotton, you know, just, or even just a, a couple little of little on some there, French some, knots, and something would, like that, like will just feet. hold that middle, that middle centre part yeah, down, lovely. and that would, that would be enough. Just um, another bit in there. I would also be tempted to have these as cushions. Not going to lie. Yeah, you could. Little yeah, Christmas absolutely. cushions. It doesn't yeah. have to be. We've got these as placemats because that's you know what what they suggested. Just as we're talking, I'm going to switch the foot on my machine because well, I'm going to bind it. Well, because we've got 10 minutes it. left with oh, you. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, 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 <laughs> where does it go? So, uh, the blue bundle gives you all four, because don't forget, this is just half of it. So there we go, you've got that beautiful fabric as well. I do love those woodland animals as well, that you're getting half a metre of, and you're half a metre of your, um, oh gosh, what's it called? Indigo Linear, that's what it's called. And your four placemats for 18.49. And your thread over half of the stock has been checked out. The red bundle is gone. Gosh, busy day. Lots of you multi-buying, don't blame you. This is just, it's just a lovely start, isn't it, to your Christmas? It is. So let me know what you're doing with them. Are you going to use them as placemats? Are you going to use them as wall hangings? Are you going to use them as, what are you going to do? Maybe you've got another idea. Mm? Just we like so suggestions, pretty. don't we, of do what you can do always. with things. So I'm going to trim it down and then people will be able to see the size. Oh, not quite. Yeah. So that's, that will stay basted. Okay. You know, so once, because I've um, spray basted it, that will stay. So I could do that one later. So you don't have to get it all done quick, quick, quick and panic. No. No, 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 panic. no panic. No panic here, let me tell you. So I'm going to trim this off. I'm trimming it quite level with the print, but actually, 
um, you could do an eighth of an inch out. So you don't lose any of the pattern. Yeah, so you don't lose You do any have space on that. Let me show you on this. You do have space all the way around. So if you did want to have it so that absolutely you have every little bit of that, and yes. then your binding just went absolutely to that edge, yeah. then you can do that. So if you weren't quilting, um, you can just put your background, put the fabrics right sides together, so all the way around and turn it through. That's the easiest way. Oh, okay, um, nice. So that if you didn't want to bind it, you know, as well. Um, so I'm using the linear for the um, binding. So this is a two and a half, just because I thought I might have to do it by machine on the show, but I'm probably not going to have time. But I'd probably cut that two and a quarter okay. um, inches for something this this size. And it's just done in half. And I've just um, folded it in half. So I did so two strips together. Um, is this bias? Cut the this bias? isn't bias, this is straight, straight because it's straight. So don't need to. If you wanted to round the corners, if you're using that nice tool from the other day, uh, the creative grids, you're going to round the corners off, then you would need bias. Um, and I mean, you can use bias on, on straight things. It's just a matter of personal preference. So I'm just lining up those edges and I'm just going to sew round with a quarter of an inch. Okay, go for it. Uh, hang on a minute, you're not starting right at the end. No, you need to leave a tail. Right. So that you can piece those uh, sections together. Uh, this is what, a slightly what, different walking foot, I'm not sure. That? I don't know, I just grabbed it out of the... Um, it's got teeth So we'll see. Yeah. Gosh. Well, they all have teeth. Because um, that's yeah, the even have, feed. Like, I know I don't know what this one is. This might not have been a good idea okay. to use this. <laughs> we'll still find out. We'll have a go. Uh, have, a, have a play with your teeth and your walking foot. Do you have to use a walking foot? Um, no, you don't have to use a walking foot. In fact, I might not use this one because <laughs> I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> Like TV. <laughs> so with the free motion embroidery, fine. fine. No problem. Yeah. No problem at I all. I can do that. Some no problem. Some kind of crazy walking, walking foot. foot. No, forget it. I clearly grabbed the wrong one it's out of like the drawer. It's more like a trainer. I know. It does look, look very it. odd. We'll just ignore that one. Okay. Right, look, it's good job all the feet kind of come with it. I know. Isn't it? And, the, and it's, e you know, easy to it's change easy around. to change. And you even get a screw drive. Hooray! <laughs> oh, tools. And this is one of the things that, that I really love about this machine is how, how accessible all the different feet are. <clears throat> you know, having that there. little storage section for all of your feet and then you've got an extra bit in there as well to keep your feet. So I really like that. So in times of need where you get well, the like wrong... Now. Yeah, Immediately. where you get the wrong um, walking foot, it's very useful. Oh, I've seen a walking foot like that. I wonder where that came That's from. much better. I don't know. Probably. So you don't need uh, you don't need to use a walking foot happily, is what we've discovered today. And then I'm just mitering my corners by folding it and folding it back on itself. Okay. And I have done this before. And if I can say the free motion pattern I've done with the holly and the berries is on my blog. Okay. So right. there are instructions for that um, on on my blog. And for binding, should you need it. So then I just lift. I do this the slightly cheating way. And I just fold that back. Oh, interesting. I don't, e I don't even take it away from the machine. Do you not? Because I don't have time for that. And then I just carry straight on. OK. So I've not pulled it out a lot. So, it's the, you know, it's not a big thread. Right, Lucy, if anybody needs to find this on your blog, what is your blog? Yes, Where do they find uh, it? It's www.charmaboutyou.com. Charmed about you. Charm. Charm. Charm about you from the um, Fred Astaire song Heaven. Oh. The charm about you will carry me through. Oh, lovely. There you go. Not charm. I wrote that for you, Natasha. Thanks. Well, it was a little bit of a play because it's like, no, like, like charm yeah. packs as well. Yeah. So, again, just folding it that way and sometimes you might have a a point or something you know that you can line that up against if you're doing half square triangles or something and fold it back and then fold it away okay and then fold nice. it away and I just go up to that crease line which is quite difficult to see but you know it's about quarter of an inch away and, and I always then... hand crank because I'm that's what I'm used to doing and tuck it back and start again from the corner. That's a really quick way of doing it. Very quick. 
So will you then hand do? I mean, yes. I, where possible, I prefer to do hand. Prefer to hand sew my binding down because I just think it gives a need to look, and I really enjoy doing it. So I uh, know that's the key, isn't it? If yeah. you don't, or you don't. If have you the don't, time. don't. <laughs> no. Um, do what you love. Do what makes your heart sing. When I'm making thing, quilts it? for the, you know, for the show, I don't have time to do the hand binding. So then I will machine bind. So shall I show you what I would? Have I got? Can I finish it? How long have we got? How long have we got? I've got time. Three and a half minutes. Lucy. Okay, oh, that'll be okay. So I'll just get round. I'll do. I've got one more corner to do, and then I'll just show how I would finish it off. Really quick and easy way of doing that corner, isn't it? Fab. Yeah. So this is you need just, um, you know, it's like one um, length of binding and a bit. Right. So if you're doing all your placemats, you know, if you did sort of one and a half, counted for one and a half strips for each one, you would have you would have enough there to do that. The other thing I love about this machine is it's got this nice space um, in front of the foot mm. so that I can do this folding easily on the, you know, I've now, got a lot of space. To you see, I it. made the rookie error mm -hmm. when, I did, when, when I found my first quilt of just starting from the corner. I was like, that's fine. Yes. Yeah, no, no, it's not. It's I thought not. that, I was like, why doesn't everyone do this? Surely that's the easiest way. Unfortunately, no, it's not. No, it's it not. isn't. Um, and so I'm going to be watching in the next two and a half minutes to yeah, um, just start, see what you do. Yeah, start along uh, one of the edges. Definitely not in the corner. Yeah, and then I def stop. Definitely not there. Got that. Definitely, definitely not in the corner. So I would. I've been told, haven't I? You want to leave a space yep. between where you stop and start, and you always want to leave a tail okay. when you begin. Can be can be even longer than that if you you know oh, wow. that you feel Great. more comfortable. And then to finish it off, I go, so that's my gap. Yeah. I'm working about to the centre of yeah. that gap. That gap could be a little bit bigger. If mm -hmm. you're working on a quilt, it's probably easier to make mm -hmm. it a little bit bigger. I've just done this lots of times. I fold this one this way. Finger press. I fold this one this way. Yeah. Finger press those. You can put a pin in it if you've got pins, but I've forgotten them. Come um. On. It's okay. No, I don't. I no, don't I can oh, do hang it on. with them. No, I'm all right. Look, I've got a little. I've got oh, there you go. That will of, work. Of useful things, yeah. dressmakers pins, not quilting pins. So but hey. you're making sure that this is, you know, that they're meeting here and here, and that they're just going in That's opposite. Neat. So it's like you're like it's like you're making a cross. Yes. Okay. Give those a really good finger press so that you can see, and then stick a pin through it like that. Okay. okay, right. And then I take it over to the machine and I just sew down the middle. Can I give you that back? Thank you. Oh, so you've created a loop, effectively. Yeah. Clever. So... You can see which, so it's on the top, yeah. you know, it's not on the underneath. And what I always do at this point is check that that is going to lay flat. Oh, yeah, don't go Because if you've gone a bit off. wrong, you might need to readjust. So, yeah, don't chop it off until you're sure that it's going to be right. But we're sure it's okay. We're sure it's okay. We're all good. Just Fab. chop that off. I would open that out. Yeah. And then continue sewing oh, down there. Oh, clever thing. Okay. So then... You can turn it over and you've got a couple of options. Either you can stitch, machine stitch from this side, mm -hmm. aiming to catch the binding on the back. That's where the wonder clips work. Wonder treat, clips work it? really you well. you know that you can measure the distance. But if I'm machining, I prefer to do it from this side. Right. So I fold it over and I just sew a lot, you know, like a top stitch yes. along the edge there. So when you get to the corners, And wonder clips are great because you can clip all this, do your corners here, mm. clip them all mm -hmm. so that they're, it's all it's, it's done. done for when you go to your machine. Oh, and fair. then you just fold that back like that. Excellent. And you'll have a perfectly mitered corner if you You're fold it. You're a star. It Thank you very much. Well. I've got to go look at those fabrics over there. Thank okay. you.
Mwah. See you in an hour. See you in an hour. Don't go anywhere. Uh, this is your kit, 1849, and then you can be making stuff like Lucy has. Yay! There it is. It's really beautiful. You get four placemats. La la. Beautiful. Now, you need to check out your baskets for that because um, otherwise there's going to be a few of you disappointed. The red went super, super quick. Please do check out your baskets. Oh, and it's a half metre of each of those fabrics in the bundle as well. Now, favourites. Anything on wine has been popular. Oh, that's just Hannah's favourite. Wine. Uh, let's have a look at the snow scene and wine. So this is the same as you see on, on the front of the uh, blah, 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 placemats, but just smaller. It's just a repeat pattern of it. But it's rather charming. 5 95 So maybe you're getting it to quilt and you're going to fussy cut those out. Who knows? 5 95 Now, um, on wine... Oh, I love this one. Can I show you this one on wine? Your, your winter animals on wine, just because it makes me giggle. Oh, this one's going to sell out. Please check out your baskets if you want winter animals on wine. It's all right, they're not driving. It's fine. So five ninety-five of that. Please check out your baskets because that is about to sell out. Do you want robins on wine? Robins on wine. Very, very quickly. Of course, all of these are on the website underneath where you, uh, where you watch live. Here we go. This is robins on wine. We've also got them on silver and on cream. Five ninety-five for that per half a meter. You decide how much you need of this, and it is a need. It's absolutely beautiful. So do check out your baskets. Don't miss out on any of these. Lots of fabrics on there. We will be back after the break with some quilt as you go. So if you were watching earlier and you wanted to know what that quilt was behind us, that is up next uh, with some essential tools and bits and bobs. See you in just a moment. Follow us on Twitter for more inspiration, top tips, news, and share your own creations with us. So I'm going to be showing you how to do a ladder stitch. Now this is a great stitch when you want to sew something up and create an invisible stitch. Now first of all, I'm just going to use the example of something like a pin cushion, but I need to bring these two edges together using the invisible stitch, which is known as the ladder stitch. So first of all, I'm going to take my needle up through the fold. So I'm going to be concealing the knot in the thread. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my needle in through the fold of the fabric and come out. So you can see that I'm on the actual fold there. So obviously there's the, the raw edges are inside my pincushion. I'm going to take that through. Now I'm going to go to the opposite side and repeat that stitch. So I want to make sure that this is parallel. So I'm going to come in through that fold and come out. So again, I'm making these stitches really big so you can see what I'm doing. So you can see how I'm going across the whole of the fabric. So if I just keep doing a few stitches. So as you can see, we have the ladder stitch there going across the two pieces of fabric so when I pull my thread you can see that almost makes those stitches invisible. It's easy to buy the products you see on our shows. To buy any of the items featured on today's programs just head over to our website www.sewingquarter.com Click on the video stream and you'll be taken to our watch page. Here you'll find the product that is on air right now at the top of the page. Beneath that, you'll find all the products demonstrated in this morning's shows. To add an item to your basket, simply log into your account or register with us. Then you can either check out or keep shopping. Remember, our flat rate delivery charge lets you shop all day and check out as many times as you like and only pay once for postage and packing. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78.
Did you know there are multiple ways you can contact us, even if it's just to ask a question? Our friendly team are always on standby. You can call our customer service team at 0800 112 4433, email us at help at sewingquarter.com, visit our Facebook page, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter at Sewing Quarter, and even message us through our website and our presenters will answer your questions live on air. Welcome back now. Um, a while ago, and it was a while ago, wasn't it, Producer Hannah? It's been so, so long. I don't know why we, we have, just haven't managed to get them back in stock. But ages ago, we brought you these little things up here, which we'll have a look at in just a minute. Out oh, there. Yay. Those. Just the best things. How many, how many times do you make a quilt and it's just too beautiful to shut away in a bedroom and you know, maybe it's your spare bedroom that has the quilt. No, 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 don't shut it away. Get it out on the wall, out and proud. Get those quilts out. Um, and should I take one off so you can see how they work? So they don't damage your quilts. That's the beauty of these. It's a clever little, uh, clever little thing. You get two in a packet. for 10.95, uh, Hannah gets very excited about these. The other beauty of these, of course, is that you can paint them to maybe your walls white and you don't actually want them to stand out. But here they are. Can you see, you've got, you've got a marble in there. So they're really, really easy to use and they grip the fabric, but they don't mark the fabric. They don't damage your fabric. You spent ages making your quilt, don't damage it. They look great, color them in whatever color you want, varnish them, do whatever, and then they just hang onto your wall like that. That's it. So fabulous for your larger quilts, wall hangings, anything like that. Maybe you've got one of the cave quilts. That's got to be up on the wall, hasn't it? Got to be. Uh, so then you would just put that onto your, uh, your screw on the wall. And let her pop that on there. And then it's taken us four months to get these back. And then you just slide that in and let it come down. You, a lot of you multi-buying and then just let them come down like that. And that's it, on, that's it. And then when you need to take them off again, just slide it out to the slide. Don't yank, never yank, just slide it out to the side and that's the trick of it. Doesn't damage your quilt, absolutely perfect. We, it took us four months to get them back in stock. We only have a limited number of these. Lots of you multi-buying, please check out your baskets. This will sell out again. No doubt about this because it's fabulous. If basically, if you're a quilter, and you ever, ever, ever have thought about putting one of your quilts on the wall. And, you know, I know that lots of you want it because we get so many messages about how are you hanging your quilts on the wall like this, using these for 10.95. And it just is brilliant. You can paint them or varnish them or do them whatever colour you like. And then they're there on the wall. Maybe you want to colour them the same colour as your quilt. So it blends. Maybe you just want to do it so that it blends in the wall. So you can then, you can get it in and out. When you take them off, slide slide to the side just slide it like that okay and then when you and then it's free then when you put it in go up and down and that's it and it's that marble inside so again let me show you again when you want to take it out slide it to the side and it's out okay putting it back in feed up and down Sue says, yay, they're back in stock. Uh, that's very similar to uh, producer Hannah. She ran in this morning into my dressing room while I was putting a bit of slap on. She said, Natasha, you'll understand. I'm so excited. Nobody else gets it. I'm so excited. They're back. And I said, what's back? Well, she forgot to tell me what it was that was back. They're back. These. They sold out last time. In fact, producer Hannah, do you remember? They sold out so fast, we actually forgot to um, save one for ourselves in the studio. Yeah, that was that was an error. Um, <laughs> but they are back. They are now back in stock. They're 10.95. I Y P H 26. Lots of you multi buying. Please check out your baskets because these will go. Five months it's taken us to get these back. Five whole months. Oh, now, uh, Hannah, who was it from the first hour who said what was the quilt? Oh, I can't remember. 
I'm really sorry, I can't remember. But this is the bundle of the fabric for the quilt as you go. So if you absolutely love that, that fabric and it's dashwood fabric, yeah. Yeah, look at these. Look at the colours in that. This is your Tropicana Birds from Dashwood. Well, this one, the, the bird fabric is from Dashwood. So you're getting your Dashwood fabric there. You're also, so a metre of the Dashwood Birds. Uh, then you're going to get your lime green. You get half a metre of your lime green down there. You get a half a metre of your pumpkin, which is that way. Half a metre of your turquoise and half a metre... Oh, hang on a minute. I've also got in here your spot on, which isn't listed in there. There you go. Is that coming with it, produ producer Hannah? Yeah, spot on sunshine. Oh, is it? There we go. Half a metre of it in there as well. Fabulous. For 33.95. Four metres of fabric. So basically, yeah. Half a metre, half a metre, half a metre, half a metre. Metre. Gorgeous. So 33.95. If you were after that, please grab it. KKGC90. Awesome. Now, next up. Oh, now the quilt is a quilt as you go. Now this one here is your fair and square. We did this uh, the other day in a sort of notions fabric. So it, it, it looks so different, doesn't it? Depending on what fabrics you do. So that's your fair and square quilt. Let me show you the batting. That's what it is. Now, remember that these are done as a modular system. So when you get them, you get six squares. You cut them down into your six squares. It comes as one continuous piece. You cut it down into your six squares. So it's about 14 inches square, finishes up about 12 inch square, finished square, uh, around, a, around about that size. So you cut them down. So you're never quilting more than that manageable size at one go. Brilliant idea, absolutely brilliant. So if you want to make one the same size as the one that's behind me, get one of these. But if you want to just keep adding and keep adding and keep adding, so that you, if you buy two, you'd get double that size. Or maybe you want to do, we've had some people do these as, um, as a bed runner. You don't have to do them in that quilt formation. You can have them as a bed runner. You can have it as, uh, maybe you bought Christmas fabrics and you want to do it as, um, as a centerpiece down your, your Christmas table. You can do that. And then maybe save, get another pack then to do your placemats because they make a lovely placemat size as we're on the placemat things. Uh, so $8.95 gets you six blocks. It's entirely up to you how you configure them. Um, and you get enough fabric in your bundles to do the six blocks. So eight ninety five for that. JBEQ79 gets you that. Now, what I would say with this, the polyester, quilt as you go, do two different battings, waddings, whatever you want to call them. Uh, this is the polyester. This is 100% polyester. It does have... Um, um, an adhesive already on there. So you, you put the backing on before you start to sew, hence, as, so you can quilt as you go. But if you're at all worried about applying heat onto the polyester, because it's the lightest of heats, um, then just get your spray adhesive that we had earlier, that 505, and then you don't have to put an iron anywhere near, because if you overpress, it just goes like toast, okay? So be very careful when you do that. 895, now that's your fair and square. Now, if you buy your fair and square and your tropical birds, then the demo for that was on the 2nd of October. So go to YouTube, put in sewing quarter, 2nd of October, and up will come the shows for that day. And on there is the demo as to how to do this with that exact fabric. Now, another bundle from that day, which was incredibly popular, this one. Here we go. Was this the most popular bundle? It's pretty, isn't it? Uh, I'm just trying to... So this is your Floral Days bundle. I'm liking it. This wasn't on one of my days. I really rather like this. I'm just trying to see who... Is this a Dashwood as well? I want to say it's Dashwood. Is this out of the confetti range? It is from the confetti range, isn't it? I've, not, I've seen lots from the confetti range, but I haven't seen that from the confetti range. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? So again, if you um, want to do this out of the fair and square, then you can do that. 37.45, you're going to get a metre 
of that. You're also going to get, ha ha, um, half a meter. I want to say that that is uh, bright, bright yellow, half a meter of your aqua, half a meter of your antique white, and half a meter of your spot on aqua as well. All in there. Yeah. Gorgeous. This is very, very popular. 37.45. But of course, if you're making such a beautiful quilt, maybe you've run out of beds to put your quilts on. Maybe they're now going to have to go on the walls. Don't forget to get your quilt wall hanger. Lots of you multi-buying on those. Please check out your baskets on those because it's taken us five months to get them back. If you are wondering what on earth I'm talking about, it's this up here. This is what I'm talking about. We use them every day. They are so easy to swap the quilts on and off the wall. But this is it. Want to take it off? Slide it out to the side. You get two in a packet so you can pop your quilts up. Lots of you multi-buying. And then all you do, lift it up, let it hang down, and that marble does the job. It doesn't damage your fabric. That's what you need to know. This does not damage your fabric. You're not putting pins through. You're not doing any of that. You're not having to work out, how on earth do I do that thing to put a pole through the back? No, 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 don't worry about any of that. Just hang it up like that. Job done. 10.95. Oh, do you want to see the marble? Producer Hannah wants to see the marble again. It's marvellous. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, here we go. That's how you put it on the back of your wall. So just put a screw in your wall. So you can, you can uh, put it on the width of your wall to the size that you need, no problems at all. You can paint it, you can varnish it, you can do whatever you like with it. That's how it looks from the front. So it's even got nice detailing from the front there. And then if you can see here, that's the magic, is that marble. So that's what holds it, that's what keeps it in place and that's why it doesn't damage your fabric. It's fabulous. There you go. Whee! Marvellous. Right, let's put that back up, shall we? Easy, easy, easy. So say I wanted to put it in, should I do it in this way? So you can put these in. You see, they do even work on a slant. Whoop, 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 whoop. Hang on, do one at a time. There we go. So 10.95, lots of emoji buying. And there it is, back up again. Bish, bash, bosh, easy. Nice. Uh, you can change your quilts with the seasons then, can't you? Now, there are first two bundles. Let's go across and have a look over here, because I've got some more fair and square type bundles. Now, these are your other quilts as you go. So this... This is, ba, 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 which one was this? Oh, this was your hopscotch. There you go. That's your hopscotch. 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 So you get your six box in there. This is on your poly batting, your polyester batting. Eight ninety five there. And that's that gives you the six squares. If you want to make that twice the size, then that's absolutely fine. All you need to do is just buy two. And this is what. That's how one of those looks. That was out of a lot of Joel Dewberry, wasn't it? That was really rather lovely. Uh, now, over here, if you just have a look on the packet, it gives you different ideas. What I would say is you get full instructions on here. You also get little videos that they've got. You've got videos that we've got too. Um, you can always colour in over here. You can always photocopy those sheets and just colour in the sort of colours that you think you might want to do to get an idea of what sort of pattern you want to have. But it does give you three different ideas, design, design choices, is what I'd say there. For eight ninety five, and it shows you how to do it step by step. So six blocks, you cut them down, you quilt. So you only quilt one block at a time. Really easy. If it, if what worries you about quilting is having to manoeuvre a huge, whole, great big quilt under your machine, then quilt as you go is the way to go. Really lovely, really easy, and it's like quilting by numbers. Eight ninety five B D E Q fifty two is your code for that. Yes. Now, that's that one. Another polyester batting one. And of course, you could do, so you could do it so that um, you could do that pattern. Uh, that is your mosaic magic. 
but you could do it so that actually you intersperse them. So you could mix and match. You might want to do it in different colours, you might want to do it, but you see, you can see so you could you could do a double quilt. So hang on, if I just hold these out like that and like that, that's the size. If you buy two, that's how big two would quilt up to. But you could mix and match those blocks because it's a modular system, so you do as many as you want. So you could do one like that, one like that, one like that, one like that. You could do it however you like. So you could make your mo mix your mosaic magic with your hopscotch. It'd be fab, wouldn't it? It gives you a whole different look. So the possibilities are endless with these. That's the beauty of them, and I think that's why they've been so incredibly popular when we've brought these to air. Every time they come to wear, so incredibly popular. But a really great way to quilt if you're in any way worried, because sometimes it can be quite um, hard work on the shoulders as well, sort of trying to quilt a big, kind of quilt a big thing. Now you've got three different options here. So that these are your different options. But that's just a serving suggestion on your mosaic magic. So that's 8.95. Again, this is a polyester wadding. So that's, um, you're getting six in the packet there. But if you want 12 block by two, hooray. Now the next one, ah, here we go. This, this was two packets in one. Look how fab, hang on, if I do it like that, you get more of an idea as to the size of it. That was two packets quilted together. And so you can see, it doesn't, you wouldn't ever know that it was, you wouldn't even know it was quilted as you go necessarily. But that's two packets put together. It's a lovely, great big size. That's really lovely. And this one is your rolling stone. But look at that, isn't that gorgeous? So that's a whopper, but that's what two look like. There you go. Like that. And so you just get two of these, eight ninety five, and then whichever fabric bundles you like. Again, different serving suggestions there. And that's what one block looks like. And just repeat that. In fact, what I might do is put this one up behind me. Controversial. Now, the tropical one, let's have a look at that tropical one. This is the bundle that you get with the fabrics. Four meters of fabric in there. You get a meter of your tropical birds and then you get a half meter of, oh, you get a meter and a half of your lime green, do you? Oh gosh, I said wrong, sorry. That's a meter and a half of your lime green and a half a metre of everything else. So that's just a half a metre of your spot on, and a half a metre of your turquoise, and a half a metre of your pumpkin in there. Very, very popular, absolutely gorgeous, 33.95. And let's have a look at the finished thing. There it is. And that's using your fair and square. How quick was it to change over that quilt? 33.95. So that's your fair and square quilt, and that's your fabric bundle. So the details for the actual quilt down the bottom, $8.95, and for the actual fabric, $33.95. That's the fabric that you're getting. Lovely, so the background fabric, the backing fabric is that green, that lovely luscious lime green. Let me spin that around so you can see. Back to your lime green backing, oh yes. Hooray! Now, couple more bundles to show you because this was last week wasn't it we had this now we had this on the 11th so again if you want to go back and watch the show and see how they were made then this is it this is on this was on the 11th so again this is fair and square but then we've and so your all sewn up bundle is how this was made here it is so you will have, or you even get the batting in this, the wadding in this one. So for 53.95, you even get the thread. So you get one packet of your uh, quilt as you go, you get your thread, and then you get three different half meters of those feature fabrics. Then you get your spot on, a meter of your spot on, 
and you also get your, your pink there. So half a metre, half a metre, half a metre. Look, they're little pins and needles. It's lovely, isn't it? And then this is your batting and your lining. Um, Producer Hannah, they are coming up, but the, the amounts are wrong on them. Just so that you know. And not all of the fabric and not all the fabric thingies are on there. So no, it's not always worth looking at, to be honest. Uh, here we go. Technology, ain't it great? Now, this is the other one that we had, and I can show you what we started to do. And this was Victoria. Pete and I did this on Wednesday, I want to say. Here we go. So this is what one of those looks like, and this is the next bundle that we've got. So this is 53.95, XXGC70, and this is Stitch in Time. So you've got those fabulous stitches in there. There we go. So half a metre of all of, the, um, all of the, the beautiful fabrics here. So you get that one, which is kind of like little quilts, all in one. And then you get your stitches there, hence the stitch in time. And then you get it on kind of, I want to say, I want to say it's a corally colour. And then you get your pink spot on, metre of that. And then you get a metre and a half of your mint. You also get, of course, don't forget your batting in that, your wadding and your thread. So that's the whole, the whole caboodle there ready for you to get quilting. Now, the clips. Hello, Hayley. Are you all right? Has Jay gone home? Yes. We didn't think Jay looked very well. We sent him home. So Hayley's, Hayley's on it, aren't you, Hayley? Good morning, Hayley. Uh, right, so very, very quick scene change, you may have noticed, but that's due to these clips here. And they are absolutely fabulous. They've got a marble in, a magical marble in there, so it doesn't damage your fabric. Half the stock has already been checked out and gone. It's taken us four or five months to get these back in stock. I don't know why it took so long, but it did. And I don't know if it'll take us that long to get it again. But it's 10.95. They are absolutely marvellous. Lots of you multi-buying, but it just means it's a great way to get your quilts up on the wall. You've spent your time, you've spent hard work making these quilts. You've chosen fabric that you love. They should be up on your wall. They should be seen, not, you know, just folded away in a cupboard. Get them up, get them being beautiful everywhere. If you've made, taken the time and effort to make something this gorgeous, get it out, be proud of it. And also, you know, when you've done a new one, pop that other one up, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Now, change it with your seasons. Get your Christmas ones up. Yes. Now, back in stock. When you use any of the quilts as you go, they recommend, they say, because you don't, you don't iron. It's not, like, um, it's not like when you do normal quilting where you would press every single time you do a line of stitching. Once it's stitched down onto that wadding, you don't, you don't iron it again, you finger press. And so what you have to do in your preparation is to starch it first. And the best one that we've found for this is your best press spray. It's a non-aerosol, and this is the biggest bottle that we do. This is the big one. This is best value for money here, is $9.95. If you're anything like me, actually, you quite like the smell of it. You quite like it on all the other things that you have to iron as well. So $9.95, and that's the best value for money, is to get that one. This is in your cotton, well, it's called Linen Fresh. I was thinking of it as cotton Linen Fresh, but it's Linen Fresh there in your best press spray it will last and last and last you but basically you iron when you cut your and prep your fabric pieces for your quilt as you go spritz it with this first and you are good to go um this hasn't been here for a little while and do you know what mary ellen who makes it says that mary ellen makes ironing in brackets almost fun you know she doesn't you know she's not going all out on that promise is she Oh no, almost fun. I like that. There she is. I mean, she's looking like she's having fun, but then she's not ironing, is she? The nice thing about this is that if you've ever used one of those aerosol starch sprays, you know how they can go a bit white? You know, a bit like those deodorants that you don't really want going white and yeah, yeah. You get like that powdery white bit. You don't with this and it's non-aerosol. So best spray spray and it smells lush. This is the large one. 
maybe you just want to you just want to try it or maybe you like another of the scents or you just want to try another of the scents we've only got the linen in the largest one so if you're after your lavender then this is the size that we've got the lavender in and again this will last you a good few quilts 4.95 for your best press lavender field spray 4.95 but there's no picture of mary ellen saying that it makes makes it fun that's only on the big one soz about that i'm sure it does i'm sure it still makes ironing almost fun do people still starch spray um collars shirts oh yeah derek does does he hey he could get some of this if you don't want any scent then go for the non-scented one my mum doesn't like a scent on things so she wouldn't she wouldn't want sort of linen or lavender so she'd go for this scent free 4.95 ndeq 38 which almost make me giggle because there's no scent it's not coming for free at all no scent i have a warped world tim don't look at me like that <laughs> then if you want if you just want to have a go with the linen the linen fresh and you've never tried it before then here we go grab this one and again 4.95 pop it in your basket maybe you're multi-buying Maybe you've already popped a few things in your baskets. Oh, if this is your first time, because we had a lovely message from Tina this morning, said that she's new to the channel, she's new to sewing, and she's given it all a good go. Um, if you've already checked out, you can check out your baskets as many times as you like throughout the day. We only ever charge you one PMP per day, not per, per time you check out or anything like that. It's per day, and it's just 2 95 per day. That was really important to us. Um, oh, just so we know about checking out, the quilt hooks or the hangers whoa over 70 of you have already checked out and over 70 more of you with it in your baskets okay so please don't miss out on these please check out your baskets and make sure you don't miss out most of you multi-buying do you know what Having, having just moved house and in need of, of some more art, turns out it's really quite expensive. So um, actually, if you're making beautiful things, don't have them just stashed in a cupboard. Get them out on the walls. Get them out so you can enjoy them. You know, you've chosen the colours, you've taken the time. Grab it. Make it lovely. I've got these. Oh, are we coming back to those? Come with me. Ba, 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 ba. more quilts as you go oh did you get a flash of me orange shoes got me orange shoes on today uh, now let's have a look oh okay where do you want to start do you want to go big sophisticated stripe this is the only exception to the quilt as you go rule whereby I would normally say you never quilt anything bigger than that through your machine this is the one there's always an exception isn't there Always an exception, this is it. But it's just done in stripes. Do you want to see? It's a big one too, isn't it? So maybe you've got some beautiful Christmas fabrics that you want to use, or maybe you've just got... Oh, I managed to snatch up some Anna Maria Horner Echinacea fabric and I'm just looking for something to do with it. Then actually, I don't want to cut that up into a small bit, so I want that out and proud. So maybe you've got a fabulous one, that you, uh, that fabric that you just have to have in all its glory. This is the quilt for you. Or maybe you want to practice your free motion quilting. Then do that, because you've got your basic quilts in there, your basic lines in there, and then it's up to you. You could take it further. It's entirely up to you. The choice is yours. This is the only one that is this size and doesn't break down into smaller modules. Yeah. Yeah. As soon as people know that you quilt, they're going to want them. They're going to be asking for them for Christmas or, you know, we had my mum, um, my mum had one made for us when, when we got married. It's a celebratory things, isn't it? It's, it's, it's an heirloom piece that you're making. So when you have babies, things like that, people make quilts. My auntie Shirley made us a lovely quilt. Now, just to give you, oh, do you want to have a look at these stripes? It's still the same system in terms of you stitch to the line. And you see those lines on there. So this is the same with all of the quilts as you go, is that you stitch a quarter of an inch in from that line. 
So it's not like foundation paper piecing where you stitch on the line. You use that as your fabric placement line and stitch a quarter of an inch in. And that's 11.95. But as soon as you watch any of our shows with quarters you go, you'll see that. Oh, yes, you will. Uh, now, I mentioned earlier about, well, what about doing placemats? There you go. And actually, this gives you a brilliant idea of the size that you're going to be quilting. That is really manageable to get underneath your machine. Really, uh, really uh, manageable. This is Paris on point. Another note for your Paris on point. Paris on point and the sophisticated stripe, or strip, is it strip or stripe? I can't remember, strips, um, are both on 80-20 wadding. Now that's 80% cotton, 20% polyester. They do not have that adhesive, iron on adhesive bit on the back like the polyester does. So you will need the 505 spray that we've had on the shows this morning. So 11.95, the price difference is because it's got that cotton rather than just pure polyester. It's 80% cotton, 20% polyester. And again, you know, this is just one of those preferences that some people just prefer to go with a mainly cotton wadding, then that's absolutely fine. This is the one for you. 11.95, LXEQ15. So any of the quilters you go, so you see on the website that are 11.95 means that they're 80.20. If they're 8.95, they're polyester. And that's the only difference in the price. That's the reason for the difference in the price. But you see, we did this one so that you had four done in one long strip, like a table runner, and then two placemats. Fabulous. So it's entirely up to you how you want to do it. But that's the size that you're going to be quilting underneath your machine. <laughs> so you can put them together if you want. Easy. There we go. Yeah, what we, were, what we were saying earlier, you know we said they were modular. S try, if you can, to stick to the same type of wadding. So don't necessarily mix up your cotton and your polyester. You can, it's up to you, but I wouldn't. There we go, 11.95. You always can. There's always a rule breaker, isn't there? There's always a rule breaker. Ours is Hayley. Hayley, are you our rule breaker? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, table runner bundles. <sighs> 9th of October these were made. I was gutted this wasn't my show. How stunning is that? Yes, that. This is your Rhapsody bundle. Just exquisite. So you know that Rhapsody fabric, we had it on the Miss It Miss Out, we can't order it again. We've got some left in bundles. And this is it. Now, this middle one is a whopper. This is for your table runner and your placemats. So that's to do both of those. 149.99, but you are getting everything. Look how much you're getting. Two things of thread. You're getting your table runner kit, your placemat, and you're gonna make six placemats there. Your approximate size for your finished table runner is 48 inches by 15 inches. It's just gorgeous. Now, the fabrics, gosh, there's a lot. Wow. Big, deep breath. They may not be in order, but let's see which. It's the Blue Rhapsody range that we can't reorder. Whoa. Hang on, hang on, it's on my, it's on my tablet. Do you want me to read it out from here? Does that make it easier for you? Okay, so we've got Ditsy Flower um, on a white background. We've got your floral peacocks, which are down there. Love those. Uh, you've got your blue flower Ditsies on a blue background. That's down there. You've got your Ditsy leaves on a blue background down there. You've got your, you've got your um, flora blue background, which is... Ah, maybe that one. Um, you've also got your flora on a white background here. Squiggles on a white background there. You've got your tile blue white background. Stunning. There that one is. There. Uh, where have I got to? Vintage flower on a blue background. Look at that. Stunning. Uh, you've got your winter rose blue background. Oh gosh, which is your winter rose blue background? One of these, somewhere. Um, you're also going to get 
Here we go, down here. Um, blue sea and pearl blue. So here's your blue sea and your pearl blue. And then you're also getting your ivory, nautical blue. There is so much in here, so much. And of course, you're also going to get all of your batting, all of your wadding. Batting, wadding, it's the same stuff. It depends if you're American or in the UK. But all of that fabric, how much fabric is there in total there, producer Hannah? Nine meters. Nine whole meters of fabric. This is a range we can't reorder. When it's gone, it's gone. This particular bundle, the table runner and your placemat. Okay, single figures already for this. Please check out your baskets. The show is on the 9th, so if you want to make this, and that's the size of your table runner, isn't it exquisite? They're, um, they are just timeless classics, aren't they? Those colours. Blues just don't go out of fashion. My mum my used to collect Asiatic pheasant plates. You know, and they're sort of hundreds of years old, but it just it's one of those ones. It doesn't go out of fashion. Uh, do you want to see the half-made... This is the size of the placemat. Hey, that's a good placemat. You can fit an entire cake on there. We've got to the binding stage. So again, as Lucy was showing us how to do your binding, that's all on there. Um, and there it is. Not quite bound, but getting there. There you go. Let's turn that out. So you can get a good idea of the size. But aren't they just exquisite? Maybe you've just got plain white china. Wouldn't that look beautiful on it? Oh, lovely. Six of these. So you've got six of these and the table runner. Yeah, you see that? That's bigger than that central piece of that table runner. It's just exquisite. Producer Hannah, do you need lots of these? Yeah. Oh, my goodness, down to four. I don't think we're going to be able to get... Well, we can't get the fabric back, so when this bundle's gone... Hang on, Haley or no? Haley, when it's gone, it's gone, isn't it, on this? All of it, all of the Rhapsody fabric. When it's gone, it's gone. We don't have any more of these fabrics to bring to you. That's it. Even the parrots. Beautiful. That's the Oh, look, I just found another one under here. Hey, producer Annie, you know I couldn't find one of the fabrics. It was hiding. Look at that. You also get that one in there. It's a bit of a treat. Hey, let me hold these up for you. So you get that one. That one. Isn't it gorgeous? That's your squiggles. Ditsy on blue. Oh, that's one of your blues. Yeah. Oh, lovely. That's the one that I lost. But all these blues, tonally, working gorgeously. This is my favourite one, is the parrots. Peacocks, rather. Birds, begins with a P. It's all good. Oh, hang on, no, that one. That one looks amazing. And then your ditzy there. And your thread, and your table runner, and your placemats. Boom, done, 149.99. Yay! If you just want the placemats, uh, we have one with a cream background. I always worry about cream. Only because I'm really messy. You could only coat it, it's fine. So this is your cream. You're going to get the placemats with this as well. Oh, this is your table runner. Oh, this is your table runner with the cream background. There we go. It's no problem. So you're going to get that fabric with it. Let's have a little close-up of all these fabrics so you know exactly which ones you're getting. Because I can tell you the names. Doesn't mean anything, does it? Ditsy on blue. Meh, could be anything. Ditsy on blue. Nice. That's your tiley one. That's your squiggles on white. And then that rather gorgeous one. 81.49 and your thread and your table runner kit. So you can make just your table runner. If you want to just make your table runner, then that's the kit you need, 81.49. But if you want to make just your table mats, then this is the kit that you need. Here it is. I do like that dark blue though. Oh yeah. Very limited on this as well. So 79.49. 
all of these, five left of these. That's your peacock. Look at these, only five left, 79, 49. When they're gone, they're gone. We cannot bring this back. This is the blue Rhapsody range. We might bring the placemats back. We'll bring back the quilt as you go, placemats and stuff, but what we won't be doing is bringing these back with the blue Rhapsody because we can't get hold of it. That's it, when it's gone, it's gone. So if you're just loving this blue and it is truly exquisite, it's just been such a popular range because it's so beautiful, there's no doubt about it. An utterly timeless classic, look at that. So 79, 49, six of these placemats, that's what this kit is gonna make for you. Six of these placemats. Yeah. Gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, yes. Now, with the um, big spray, yes. Oh, it's, um, this one is the linen fresh flavour, scent, whatever you want to call it. So if you're after this one, this is your linen fresh. This is the biggest bottle that we do, but we've only got it in the linen fresh. That's the only one that we've got it in. So 9.95, by far and away your best value. But if you've not tried it before and you're unsure, or you prefer one of the other flavors, go for the other ones. But otherwise, if this is one that you know you're gonna use, grab this one, because this is your best value for money. 9.95, FSEQ20. But you know what, sometimes you don't wanna risk, you know, basically a tenner if you've not tried it. Totally understand that. You can go for the other ones. In which case, each of these are just 4 95 So you've got your linen, you've got your scent-free, and you've got your linen fresh. They're all in there. They're all on the website for you. You pick which one you want. So they're all 4 95 all underneath where we're live today. That's where all of your fabrics and everything that we've shown you on the shows are all on the website, which is sewingquarter.com. Now, wall hangers. These little chaps up here. They've just come back into stock. There they are, looking fabulous. Now, just shy of 100 of these have gone. Please check out your baskets. They do not damage your quilts. That's the joy of these. You put them as far away, as far apart as you need them to be to hold your quilt. They do not damage your quilt. It's all very clever stuff with a marble in there which means that when you just, when it's time to take them out, shall I show you? Shall I take it out? Which one have you got? Which one are you looking at? This one? When you want to take it out, take it to the side. Okay, take it to the side. And then when you want to put it back in, lift it in, and then just, sometimes the ball gets a little bit stuck, and then just shake it. Wah! Hang on. Pop them in together is always a good way. And then the marbles, Come on, we'll go in. So the marble might just need to be readjusted once you've taken them out, but they do then go back in. Come on, you've done it all day. There we go. Little wiggle gets that marble back where you need it. But I mean, that's, that's as tricky as it gets. You just have to wiggle the marble, the marble, the marble where you need it. I like it when, you know, that's it, that's, that's it, that's it done. So if you've got a different size quilt, just, just put, put the screw in the wall to the width that you want, pop those on and off you go. Job done. They are easy. Mary says she's never seen them before, but great price and great because you don't damage your quilt. She's going to put her Christmas quilt up. Well, you could, Mary, here's an idea. You could get them and you could spray them gold just to add a bit of extra gold. And then you could just paint them white again when you're done. Um, 10.95, but they are, they're untreated wood, so you can just, how many have been, wow, over 100 have been checked out, good for you, well done, well done on getting these, 10.95, um, IYPH26, can I show you my favourite scissors? I'm going to move some of these bundles out of the way. What I've learned, okay, since being here. And it's only because since I've been here, I've had access to wonderful tools and having a go with wonderful tools. 
oh, we're going to say it makes such a difference. You know, before cutting out would be a bit of a chore, but when you've got the right tools for the job, perfect. Now, um, these are your soft grip dressmaking shears. They've got that razor edge, so you can just uh, nick the edge and go through. They look weird. We call, I call them the pelican ones. But look at this. There's nothing there that is gonna hurt your hands, okay? Because you know sometimes you get that mark on your fingers where you've where you've had the where you've been holding the handles. You're not gonna get that because you're not having to put your hands into something. Maybe you know your knuckles have got a bit bigger and oh, just a pain. So these, there you go. Watch this. Now it just opens because in there is a spring. So all I, the only pressure that I have to do is to shut it and then it just springs open, which is an absolute joy. And look, look at this. When I cut, I'm not having to lift that bottom blade off at all. With any other scissor where you've got your fingers through, you have to lift the fabric because it doesn't stay on that cutting mat. But here, I can cut, I don't have to lift the fabric, I can just cut all the way through. How fab are these? Yes, that is why for 22.95, these are my favorite scissors. Is that one of my favorites? And there's a nice soft grip there. They're not cold to touch. You know, sometimes scissors are really cold, especially metal ones, cold to touch, no. Always warm, always inviting. There you go. And that just springs open, so the only pressure is when you press down and then it just glides. Woo, look at, looks like a crocodile. Oh, I'm not gonna call them pelican scissors anymore. I'm gonna call them the crocodile. Yeah, 22.95. Love them. Oh, now, two left <coughs> of the double whammy, which is your table runner and your placemat bundles. Gosh, busy hour, hey. Uh, so we cannot get this Rhapsody fabric back again. We've tried, we can't get it, that's it. That's, we've had everything that they had. Now you're getting nine meters of the Rhapsody fabric in there. You're also getting your table runner kit and your placemat kit in there. Now some of that, not all of that is your Rhapsody fabric, some of that is your solids as well, the background fabrics as well. But nine meters of fabric in total there. And there's an awful lot of your Rhapsody fabric in there. All of the fabrics, tone on tone, just work beautifully. Absolutely exquisite bundle. Only two of those large bundles left. If you're after it, please check out your basket now. Don't miss out on that. It's 149.99. We will not be bringing it back. When it's gone, it's gone because we can't get the fabric again. It's as, it's as simple as that. The Rhapsody range, we can't get it again. We'll bring these back. We'll bring these back, don't worry about that. We'll bring back these back and we'll try and rebundle it, but we won't be with the Rhapsody, I'm afraid. So if you love that blue, if the blue is what's really got you, then um, please grab it now, please grab it now. Oh, come with me because um, this is the one that we started with. This is what started off the whole day. Well, the whole hour was this one with your dashwood fabric um, toucans and tropical birds in. And I have a message from Sandy. Oh, she's made it. Oh, gosh, she's already got the bundle of mate at home. We only sold this like last week, didn't we? It was on on the second. Oh, my goodness. That's super speedy. So in two weeks, you've bought the fabric, got it home and made it. Fabulous. That's brilliant. And look, it's exactly like the one that we've got on the show. That, that's when you know that's just great. Well done, Sandy. That's brilliant. She said it's a fabulous bundle. Yay! There it is. That's ours. Yeah. Do you want to have a look at the bundle of fabric so that you can be like Sandy? Uh, you get... No, you don't get that in it. You have to get that separately. So the fabric bundle is here. You get a meter of these wonderful birds. And this is a dashwood fabric. Look at your tropical birds. Right, 
You also get a metre and a half of that lovely lush lime green. So that's your backing fabric. A metre of this and then half a metre of all the other fabrics, which takes it up to four metres. 33.95 for four metres of fabric. Which, when you think about it, less than a tenner for a metre of fabric. Fab. So to go with these, we have all of these. Look how lush those colours are. It works, isn't it? It just works. So you've got all of those to go with that. That's your metre and a half. This doesn't come as you quilt as, with your quilt as you go, so you need to pick which quilt as you go you want. We did it with fair and square. That's the one that we did it with, which is your fair and square, which is that one there. And that's 8 95 for one of those. Now, of course, you might want to do a whopping great big one, then you'd get two bundles and two of this. So 8.95, JBEQ 79. Now these were done on the 2nd of this month. So just go to YouTube and put in the 2nd of October, seven quarter and the 2nd of October, and it'll bring up the shows. So you've always got them as an entire reference library. All of our shows, I don't think we shout about this enough, you know, producer Hannah, all of our shows go onto YouTube and they stream live onto YouTube as we're live on air. I'm right on that, aren't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, yeah, Hannah, press the button. Uh, so, oh, Tim, press the button. Oh, there you go. Director Tim, press the button. Uh, a group press of the button happens upstairs. And we go live onto YouTube. Hello. Same time as we go live on, um, on our normal Freeview channel. And then it stays there. So you've always got it for a reference to go back to it. So if ever you buy something on the shows and you know you're going to want to watch the demo again, make a note of the day that you bought it. And then you know the date to go back and look for on YouTube, seven quarter and the date, whoosh, up will come the shows. And you can fast forward, rewind, go through the demos as many times as you like and sew along at home. Fab. Now, on the day of the tropical birds, oh, that sounds wonderful, doesn't it? On the day of the tropical birds, we also had this. And we did this with um, fair and square as well. This is another dashwood fabric. And this was incredibly popular. This is your Floral Days fabric. And again, a four meter bundle. 37.45. So to go with these, you are also going to get all of these. So you've got your bright yellow, you've got your aqua, you've got your vintage white, you've got your aqua spot on. It's all in there. Now your aqua spot on, that one down the bottom there, is a meter and a half. So that's your backing fabric. So very, very popular, that bundle, 37.45. And then you add in whichever quilt as you go, you want to go with it. Yeah, uh, we went with fair and square, but that was the one that we had on the show that day. Doesn't mean to say you've got to stick with that. You go with any of the others. Oh, we don't have long left and I've got a question on my iPad, so I'm going. Right. Uh, I haven't got a question. Oh, it's about my hooks about them being attached onto the wall. Do you want to see? Okay, so when you uh, get these home, get yourself a screw. There you go. So if you see, there you go. There's our screw on the wall. And then you just see on the back there, pop it in there. There you go, Susan, just like that. Just like that. So you will have to put a screw into your wall. But I'm not worried about damaging your wall. I'm worried about damaging, <laughs> damaging your foot. You can polyfill your wall if you ever have to move house. There you go. So just give your ball a little wiggle and there it is in. Bing, done. You're not going to damage your quilt. You can't polyfill your quilt, can you? So make sure you look after your quilt. It's your heirloom. You've got to look after it. It's absolutely beautiful. And you've got to see them. If you make something as gorgeous as this, you want to get that out. You want to get that out um, and just seen and used. But then you see, I'm one of these people. I don't have best china at home. Hayley, do you have best china at home? No. Every day is best day. Every day is the best day. It has to be. It has to be. Get it out and use it. Beautiful. Down to one of those. Gosh. Is that what the double bundle? 
if you want it. It's £149.99. Please don't miss out on that. And that's the table runner. That's your six place mats, your Rhapsody fabric, and your planes. Beautiful. Oh, yes. Even the unicorn agrees. Sue's asked about the cutting mat. Oh, the pink one. Oh, now, we did a funny thing this morning. We put a search um, on our website to try and find this, to add it onto the show. If you search cutting mat, the pink one won't come up. If you search pink, it comes up. How bizarre is that? Don't know why. Uh, but if you're after, and lots of you loving the pink cutting mat, here it is. It's got your inches on one side. Who doesn't love a pink cutting mat? Hayley, have you got one of these yet? You're getting this one. You, not tempted by the green, going all out for the pink. That's a, that's a, Hayley, what's your official title? No, I don't know your official title. I just call you boss. Sales manager. Our sales manager, Hayley, she doesn't, she's, she's learning to quilt. She doesn't want the green one, she wants the pink one. 14 95 you've got inches one side, centimetres the other. There you go. And it's A2 size, so she's gone for this one. She's all about the pink. There you go. So that's 60 by 45 centimetres, and that is an A2 size. Yeah. It's beautiful, isn't it? Really nice. Lots of you after that. 14 95 EBFV93 is your number for that. Grab it. Beautiful. Um, we are almost out of time for this hour. So please make sure that you've checked out your baskets. Please make sure if you've gone for the quilt hangy things that you've checked out your baskets because over 100 of those have already sold. They've taken us nearly five months to get back in stock. So please make sure you don't miss out on those because I don't know when we'll get them back again, but I know that we've got them today. So please check out your baskets. Make sure you've done that. And I will see you again with Lucy in just a second. Follow us on Pinterest, search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to discover sewing work we create and love. The Sewing Quarter website is simple and easy to use. You can view a live broadcast of the show on our homepage. Get instant access to our online shop which has a wide range of wonderful products for you to choose from. You can also enjoy a selection of projects and guides which we have on offer to help you enhance your skills and gain valuable tips. Watch the live shows and you can buy the product which is currently being shown on air. You can even message the studio to ask our presenters or team any questions you might have. Below, you'll find all the products from today's show for you to look at and purchase. On the right of the screen, next to today's products, you will find our simple program guide listing all upcoming shows. So, join us today at sewingquarter.com. Don't forget, shopping with us is easy and simple. You can just contact us at 0800 112 4433 and speak to our UK-based call centre to place an order. Or shop online with us at www.sewingquarter.com. Liberty is one of Britain's most iconic brands, labelled the chosen resort of the artistic shopper by Oscar Wilde. Established in 1875, its founder's vision was to change the face of fashion and homeware by bringing a taste of the Orient to London. More than 140 years on, Liberty is still a wonderland of luxurious furnishings, sumptuous fabrics and wearable works of art. So we're proud to announce that we've been selected to stock Liberty's brand new range of quilting weight fabrics. The English Garden Collection reimagines classic 19th century floral prints inspired by the colours of nature. To bring the collection to life, we've enlisted the help of our top quilting experts. Through our inspiring demonstrations, you'll gather an abundance of new techniques and ideas to help you create your own little Liberty masterpiece at home. So join us as we take a trip to the wonderful world of Liberty, coming soon to Sewing Quarter, online, on YouTube, and on Freeview Channel 78. 
Join us on Thursday the 19th of October for a spooktacular Facebook Live. Natasha McCarty has plenty of Halloween tricks and treats up her sleeve exclusively for Facebook Live viewers. To find out what spectral surprises she has in store, head to our Facebook page at 12.30pm on Thursday the 19th of October. Don't miss out, it'll be spooktacular! I'm giggling because Jay's gone home. Now, that's not the reason that I'm giggling because floor manager Jay's gone home. I'm giggling because everybody else is standing in for him. We've got lovely Wendy this hour being our floor manager. We had Hayley last hour. So uh, everyone's having a go. So she's doing all the countdown and everything. It's all good fun. Uh, right, we've got three different bundles for you today. And then your chance to get the flower book all about um, appliqueing and flower blocks and all sorts of goodies. So let's start with these, um, what should I start with? The book, oh, the book, yeah, that helps, doesn't it? Uh, so this is 100 any size flower blocks. I, I think it's any size as long as it's between like four and 15 inches. I think that's, that's the way we're looking at that. Um, you get the CD with them all on so you can size up, size down, do them literally any size. And then, these are the ones that you can go with. Look at this, fab. Look, hang on a minute. Look at all this. So you print it off. Some of them are foundation, some of them are applique. You'll get an idea when we go through it in more detail with Lucy in just one moment. She's frantically ironing stuff at the moment. You right there, Lucy, you feeling all right? Yes. There we go. So this is all in, and then it gives you all of these different ideas as to different quilts and things and how to make them. There we go, they're all there. Yeah, 15.95, LKMZ10 is your code for that. 15.95 for 100 any size flowers. So you're gonna need some fabric to go with all of these. So we've done meter bundles because, you know, we know you like a lot. Now, um, in here, you've got sort of your pinks, your purples, and your greens. So this is your damson bundle, damson tulip bundle, three meters, 22.45. Love that. Beautiful. There you go, a meter of each of those. Stunning. Then we've got the poppy one. Now, your poppy one has got your vanilla linear in there, your red spot on, and then you've got your green in there as well. So that's your emerald green. Could be that that's going to be a Christmassy bundle. It's up to you. 25.45 PXGC70. Poinsettias? Yeah, you could do your poinsettias, couldn't you? Yeah. And then over here, this is the one that Lucy's used. Um, sorry, little tree there. This is your yellow spot on. And then you've got your green linear. And then you've got, that looks like a sort of a vanilla colour there. There we go. But a metre of each of these. Oh, it's cream. Just go cream. 25.95, three metres of fabric. So maybe you've bought some quilt as you go from the last hour and you need some fabric. Fabulous. Maybe you just want to do lots of flowers. Even better. Here we go. 25.95, XOGC96. Should we take the Christmassy bundle and the book? Go. Uh, so the Christmassy bundle is going to go there. I'm going to pop the book down there. And then we'll just... Oh. We're having to make our own displays because Jay's gone home. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. How are you Hello. doing? I'm very well, thank you. We did send him home, to be fair. We did. I put him in the taxi. Did you? Sent him on his way. Yeah. Oh, you were mum. Poor Jay. I was mum. Yeah. Good. Good, good. Yeah. Excellent. Not that he's ill, that he gets to go home. Do you know this company's great for that? Really yes, good. Yeah. Very understanding. Yeah. Very well right. taken care of, we all are. We are. Here's your book. 100 Any Size Flowers. Sometimes I get said, I get said, I get told <laughs> by people, by viewers, you lot at home, you say, yeah, but Tash, you know, I just lost my mojo a bit. Mm. That's a thing. That mm -hmm. happens. It does. Happens to all of us. 
100 different flowers, you're going to find something you love in here, aren't Absolutely. you? Absolutely, yeah. There, there's so many pretty designs in here. Lots of different ways you can mix it up. Um, there are some um, quilts, in, you know, it shows you how you can put them together. Um, or you can just have a play around, pick the flowers that you like, pick the flowers that mean something to you. You know, you could do one with your wedding flowers in or something nice. like that. Oh, wouldn't that be lovely? Oh, yeah. So down here, it breaks it down into sections for you. So your foundation pieced blocks, they're very impressive. Then you've got your picture applique blocks. And then you've got your traditional applique block. Blah, 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 applique block. Why can't I say that? Lucy, say it. <laughs> traditional applique block. Thank you, yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then you've got your patchwork block. See, I can say that. And then you've got your quilts and then how to use the CD. It's all in there. It's yeah. all in there. But look at some of the... Oh, look, there's your poinsettia. There you go. That's where the Christmas bundle would look fab, wouldn't it? And you don't have to foundation paper piece it this you could use that as um use the shapes as templates and and hand piece it if oh, you nice. perhaps prefer to do it that way so so now now that's I mean, that would be perfect wouldn't it with your with your yeah, red tulip beautiful. bundle we've called it tulip but actually could be poinsettia mm -hmm. could be poppy could yeah. be anything could be whatever you like i wonder if they've got poppies in them. they must have poppies they've got a hundred in there oh actually there you go i mean there's there's a bit of red mm -hmm. Am I just going to stop every time I see a red flower? Oh, look, yeah. there's another one. <laughs> Could do that one too. Uh, but it just, these are all foundation piece. I'm noticing they're getting a little bit more complex as we go on. Yeah, so build, build and build. Uh, oh, log cabin crazy flower. That's not a breed of flower no, I've heard. that's a lovely one, but that's what a lovely pattern. And not to be able to, that on you know, you time, can you? play with the colours with that, can't yeah. you? And do, you could make them look really different. Look at that. These are all those um, quite exotic-y looking ones mm. that I see at the garden centre and think, well, there's no point me getting because I'll just kill them. It's the kind of thing I see in the florist and go, oh, that's really pretty. And then I look at the price. And yes. And go, go for the carnations. <laughs> Nothing wrong with a nice carnation. I don't no, like a carnation. they're a they're a good they're a good standard flower. They are lovely, and roses too. Love roses. Yeah, beautiful. Well, hang on, hang on. You could you could you could be a veritable Van Gogh here, can you? Yeah, I see Van Gogh, but no, apparently it's Van Gogh. I don't know. Apparently, uh, what what are we on to here? Oh, this is your picture applique. So these are nice. So this is quite tradi like that hibiscus one is quite a traditional, like a Rose of Sharon um, style block. There's the rose one. Lovely. So you're doing something from page 40. That one, the single lily is the one I'm doing. Beautiful. So that's this in red here. up there. Yeah, that one's in red. And that's what we're doing today. Do you want to see oh. some? Apparently, I've got some examples. No. Well, it's the... the oh, here. Yeah. <laughs> You mean there. these examples that are those. here so on, on the desk in front of me? These are the ones that I believe oh, wow. Jane made. So, and she did it with this um, extra corner piece so that you've got a design there in the centre. The so you get an idea of how you can make them look when you start to put them together. It's a whole other look, isn't it, with that centre piece it in is. there? It is. I'm going to be doing it slightly differently and I'm going to be doing a slightly different technique than, than she did to make that because I'm going to... Um, do a little bit of a plique. Why not? Why not? Why not? I just there thought, are mix options it up. out there. Absolutely. Yeah, you and don't it, have to just stick rigidly. No, stem. and you don't even have to do as I'm doing. You could embroider the stem or. Yeah, let me just show you that that mm -hmm. difference. So bear in mind what you've just seen from Jane's. Uh, so she just did one block with that, and then that was done as a half square. Well, triangle, half square triangle. Yeah. And whereas if you keep it like this, you'd have like a cross if you let, put them in that yeah, layout. You? But you could lay them out in different so ways to get having, different designs. Hang on. Which way, where, where are we? Yeah. You see, that for, for the way that it's got it in the book, that stem would just extend. I like that. Yeah, I, I like that as well. It's very pretty. Now, what are you doing, Lucy? How are you doing? So yours? I'm going to do a, a single block and um, all of the pieced sections are made mm. up with... Um, half square triangles okay. so there are lots of different ways you can do half square triangles one at once two at once four at once eight at once what <laughs> yeah that's just crazy so 
for the um, petal part, you need four. So I've already done those because I'm going to be doing these in just exactly the same way. But okay. I'm making two of the leaf and the background and two of the leaf with the flower mm -hmm. print, if that makes sense. And you're using the yellow tulip bundle, which is 25 95 and you get three metres of fabric, so a metre of each of these fabrics, which actually is a huge amount, isn't it? Yes, yes, it is. So I'm going to lay this out. I need to just grab that from there. Oh, do you want your rotating? rotating? I will when I'm trimming. Yeah, okay. so that's useful for trimming. But just for this bit, I'm just going to draw lines on the back. So I've put the fabrics right sides together. You don't need to do that first, but I did. Um, and I'm drawing a line just on the back of one of the fabrics. Okay. So that's going to be the line that I follow as a guide, not the line that I stitch on. Right. And you can draw, it doesn't matter which side you draw and I'm just going on the paler one because it's easier to see. Okay. So just one diagonal line, corner to corner. And then this is going to be a guide and we're going to sew two um, lines of stitching a quarter of an inch either side of that line. Yeah, excellent. On both of those. So I just did the same for that twice to make four of those. That's your blocks. speediest way to make it, isn't it? Yes, you can do the four at once method for that if you wanted to. Um, but because we only need two of these for we'll one block, for I'm just going to do it this way. But yeah, there are lots of different ways that you can do it. But there are in the book, there are templates. So if you prefer to draw around oh, okay. um, a template, you'll have the um, square template and the triangle template. So you can use those. Those are on the CD. So you get the CD with it. So that's that's the joy. That's how you can size up or size down. Yeah. Um, and that comes, there you go, that's in the front yeah. there. And that's why it's 100 any size. It's the only way that yes. you could do it, isn't it? It's, it's yeah. to give yourself a little CD there and then you print off the size that you want. So if you are doing the foundation paper piecing, then you've got the template ready done. Just print off as many of those as you want in whatever size. I mean, it might be that um, you want to do a different flower for each of your blocks. <gasps> yes, I think that would be that really would be nice. Stunning. And you could put um, sashing in between them. Oh, you could yeah. lay them out in different ways. You could put them on point. You know, there's lots of different ways that you can get really creative that and, and mix gorgeous. these up. And I think it's a, um, it's a really good one, you know, as a skill builder to work your way through. Start off with some of the simpler blocks and build up to, to the more complicated ones. It then works ones. out as almost being a sampler quilt, doesn't yes. it? And yeah. I love that idea of seeing your confidence and your skills grow yeah. as you work your way through. It's lovely. I think the first quilt I did was a very, very simple one. The second quilt I did was a sampler. And it's, it's an excellent way of learning different techniques and, and uh, cutting different shapes, piecing different shapes. It's really one of the best ways to learn. And also applique, um, applique and flowers can, you know, is a great way of getting all those different curves and points because you've got the leaves and the different flower shapes. So um, even the applique part of it is a, is a great way of, um, you know, practicing and testing and le uh, learning new techniques and skills. A hundred of them. Whatever size you like yeah. for 15.95. Yeah. So I'm just going to go ahead and sew these. So I'm using that line that I've drawn as a guide. Mm -hmm. So I'm lining that up with the edge of the foot. Okay. And this machine has a quarter of an inch setting. So yep. it's moved the needle over. So I know I'm sewing um, a quarter of an inch away. Um, if you don't have that setting, you could just try moving your needle, you know, practice to get your quarter of an inch. Alternatively, your um, line will just need to be a little bit... Um, over from the edge of your foot to make sure okay. that it's a quarter of There's inch. always a way. The other thing is you can draw three lines on. It's up to you. Yeah, so you could draw three lines and then you've got two lines either side that become your stitch lines. What I like to do if I'm drawing a stitch line on, I do that dotted. So I know that that's you've the got stitch your own one. Key. Yeah, because if I had three straight lines, immediately I'm confused about which one needs to be. I know, and the you the drew them one. on yourself, and yet you've confused yeah. yourself. Yes, brilliant. I'm forever doing that. That's my life. You've summed up right there, Natasha. Self confusion. Constantly confusing myself. There's no, there's my no better self. sort, is there? No. You know, don't don't allow other people to confuse you. Just confuse yourself. 
And if you, you know, if you're a complete beginner and you're making um, blocks like this, I always say it's it's worth um, making them larger because you can trim them back down to size. So if oh, you're worried okay. about your precision, yes. you're concerned about straight lines. That's the easiest way is to just make them bigger and then you can cut them. And cut if you've got back. something like the um, Creative Grids rulers, then you yes. know that already you're in really safe hands yeah. for cutting as well. Because that was one of my concerns when I started was that actually other rulers that I'd used, they just they just weren't as good. No. You know, and, and they just slipped around all over the place. So I didn't cut in a straight line or I cut swiffy or move. Creative grids means that you can then get that great grip with their self their self well their inbuilt grip. Yeah. Now are we chain piecing here? And we I am. Yeah, why not? And you'll very often find you know, oftentimes if I'm piecing something together and it's not quite going to plan, I've made a mistake in my in my cutting. So okay. the measure twice, cut once rule Scenario. is a good yes. yes. So I've just um as you said, chain piece that. So now, um, so it's like I've done four lines and now I'm just going to cut Thank in you for doing there. that the thread that really shows up. That's okay, I just kept it in from the colour I was using when I was free motion quilting. <laughs> Does make things easier. Planned. I don't plan to do yes. that. I wouldn't recommend really sewing with a very dark thread if wouldn't you're using no, lighter for, fabrics. For TV, you but can for see television me, purposes, you? it's fine. Although, even having said that, if it was... I wasn't being... No, no, I know you're not. I know you're not. <laughs> but, it's a good, but it's a good point to raise yeah. because people might wonder why I'm sewing with a very dark thread. So you um, can see it. But you will see, as I come to cut it, with the very, very pale one, you will see that um, thread show through slightly. But then with the darker fabric, you won't. And sometimes, depending on the way you press your... Because if I press that seam to the green... You're never going to see never that see thread it. anyway. Do you want me to? So I'm not, um, yeah, that would be lovely. I'm not overly concerned with thread colour, really, depending on what I'm doing. But if you know you're going to be pressing to the side, you don't even have to worry about what your thread colour is. I don't want any worry going No, on. we don't like worry. Usually I use a neutral colour for all of my piecing, and I tend to keep a a darker neutral and a paler neutral. So depending on what I'm sewing, I can switch between the two, but I don't change my thread color. Like with a plique, you change your thread color to what you're um, sewing usually, but we um, with piecing, you don't need to. are down to single figures on the bundle that you are using. It's very pretty. It is very pretty. And a it? perfect one for flowers, you know, if you're making flowers to have that nice yellow dot. So this is um, a version of what we're doing there. So that, and that's made from the bundle, which is 15.95, three meters of fabric. Oh, 25.95, hang on, what am I saying? Oh, 15.95 is the book. Yeah, 25.95, Thank you, you know what I mean. <laughs> you can see it on the screen. <laughs> don't, don't listen to me, just uh, look on the screen. Say what you see. Say what you see. Yeah. Um, there you go. So I have um, made these slightly larger. I didn't talk about sizes yet, did I? But um, the finished square is three inch. Unfinished, it's three and a half. So each of these is a will be a three inch to make a 12 inch block. Um, but the, your unfinished size, so your cut size of the squares needs to be three and a half inches. Now that's only because you've chosen to go with a 12 inch block. Exactly. But you could be doing it any size. <laughs> Any size. Any size. The clue like. is in the nick. Well, yeah, absolutely. I, I believe it's between four and fifteen, so it's a slight exaggeration. Yeah, but as long as it's between like four and fifteen inches. Yeah. Any size. For those for the for an entire block. Oh no, sixteen inches. Four to sixteen, 16. inches. And it might depend on the block as well, because there would be ones, the foundation paper piece ones. You're not going to do at four in well. No, you're not going to do them at four. Hey, inches. look, if you went to Festival of Quilts and saw some of the itty bitty 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 tiny Yes, there are itty bitty bitty tiny There are some people out there. But that some of those that a have challenge. a lot of the... Yes, and it's possible, but I wouldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> there are crazy people out there that might. Yeah, uh, some of those no. with the very complex, you know, with a lot, a lot of pieces, it's going to be tricky. I would do that as a Which bigger block. Seen. As well, look at mm. that, for a table runner. Different flowers for a table runner or a oh, bed yeah, runner. Isn't that pretty? Or maybe you want to hang it up on the wall. 
because now you've got the hanging block oh, things. We'll talk about those later. You could. Right. So I'm going to trim this to um, three and a half. So I've given myself a nice amount of space <coughs> so yes. that I'm using the line on my ruler, lining that up with my seam, and then I can trim this um, down. I, I could have started with slightly smaller squares. I think I did four and a half inches. Um, so you could go slightly smaller to create this. But I, I prefer to get that accuracy in the trimming. Okay. So to make my blocks, to make sure all my points are going to meet nicely. Nice to see the old rotating cutting mat back yes, out. Yes, I love it. We only have a few of these until they come back into stock. There it is. It just works a treat, doesn't it? It does. It, it makes means... things so easy. And when you've got a lot of these to do... Yeah, you don't want to have to be readjusting no. the whole time. No, exactly. It, I, I think it is a must. It's, it's one of those things that you don't realise how much you really did need it until you've got, until it, you got it. And then you go, oh, that's a joy. How did I have managed about that? Yeah. Uh, the beauty of the ruler, you've got your 45 degree liners there, so you can line that along your stitching. Yes. I think actually doing it bigger and then cutting back takes away a little bit of scariness, doesn't yes, it? Yes, it does. And, def you know, definitely for beginners, I recommend... You keep spinning that round, Lucy. I know, well, I was just thinking, which way do I? What's I also the best think, angle? Um, pop your snacks on and have them as a, <laughs> as a snack lazy Susan for just, you know, you keeping your strength up whilst you're quilting. It's always important. Snacks are very important. I managed to wolf an entire cupcake in a three-minute break. <laughs> well done, you. Who's Thanks. got cupcake? I didn't uh, see this. It was this. left over from yesterday. Oh. It was, it was um, by Ian's birthday. Oh. He's not in today. You see, this is another nice thing. We get our birthdays off here. Well, a day off for your birthday. Yeah. That's always nice. So, happy birthday, Ian. Yeah. So, cutting these back... Sorry, I'm concentrating. Happy birthday, yeah. Ian. <laughs> <laughs> Missed that one. <laughs> oh, uh, hooks on the wall, says uh, producer Hannah. It, did you miss them last hour? If you did, these are they. So you get two in a pack, and basically they've got a marble on the inside, which just holds everything in place. Never lose your marbles again. <laughs> £10.95. And then it just holds your quilt exactly where you need them. There they are, doing their job. Perfectly. When you want to change your quilt because you've made another stunner, just slide the fabric out to the side and off you go. Um, how many quilts, Lucy, do you have just sat in cupboards? I don't know. I don't know. I wouldn't like to say. Well, a lot of mine get used because they become, you know, um, forts and things or, you know, my children like to... My son has one of those cabin style beds, so he has one tucked, you know, so he can make like a cave, you know, things yeah, like that. Yeah. So they're all sort of scattered, you know, around. But I have made um, quite a few mini quilts that I really want to hang up. And because so, and that would be sit, perfect. I know they do, but they are just buried in loads of stuff and it's, it is quite sad. That's and I sort of see them and go, oh, I need to hang those up and then... It doesn't happen. Or I think, how am I going to... Ha what's the best way of hanging it up? You can either try and do one of those things and mm -hmm. then stick a pole through and da 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 Don't even I know. Did a thing once with doweling chop, or chop, something? Yeah, I used chopstick. <laughs> Ever resourceful. That's what I did. Uh, it wasn't you the best. It, up, to, it wasn't and the best. Then, and then you've wrecked your fabric. Yeah. These, perfect. Slide them in and out. Job done. And they look not, you know, they look yeah, nice. Yeah, they do look nice. And actually, and if you've got you like paint, a white paint, paint them. Yeah, you can paint you them. You can paint you them. You could varnish yeah. them. Oh, yeah, lovely. I was going to say, if you put your Christmas quilts up, spray paint them gold. You could. And then you could just paint over them when you want them for the rest of the year. Yeah, nice. I like just that. I'd about to have gold all year. Why not? How many of those we got left? Oh, God, over 100 have gone. Wow. Yeah. Uh, so... Please, uh, please check out your baskets quick. And you but want. nice and you know they're nice and easy to put up. I didn't know before today how they how they worked. Did I didn't you not? no, I didn't realise how they worked. You, so it's, it's nice to know because they're so For easy. Anyone that doesn't know, so up here, super easy, but we want to take it off. Okay, if you've nailed it on, you're in a bit of trouble. You've got to find a hammer. 
No, no, no. Slide it out sideways. Can you see the marble in there? That's the joy, is that marble. Put that back, so that just goes with a screw onto there. And then when you come to put your, your quilt back in, just lift it up, give it a little wiggle, just to realign that marble. Whoops. It just, wow! <laughs> joy of live television. <laughs> Make sure your marbles where you need it to be. Put that in. I've done this beautifully before. And then sometimes your marble just needs a little wiggle. There we go. And there it is, in. Well done. That is as complicated as you get and you don't <laughs> have to throw it on your own head. That's just because we're live. No, don't that do that. That was a special treat for you. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be asked to do that again. Could you try that again, Tasha, not throw it on your head? <laughs> yeah. Try not to hurt yourself in the process. <laughs> Did we uh, health and safety check those before we came to work? <laughs> no. Brilliant. Uh, right. Okay, so um, at this point is where I'm going to do things slightly differently. Okay. So if we look at the um, layout of the block, so we'll look at the one that Jane's um, done. These blocks can be just the plain. She's pieced this stem yes. into... I think she's pieced it. Yes. Yes, she's pieced it into there. So um, I'm going to keep these as background colours, okay? So I'm going to have four squares that are background and I'm going to applique um, the stem onto the squares. Oh, so mixing it up a bit. Mixing it up a bit. So I don't want to piece this into the rest of the block and then applique the stem because it just makes this little bit, you know, it's awkward to tuck that under. It's possible you can do it. But what I'm going to do is sew the four squares together and then I can lay... Um, the strip oh, that I'm going to it the over the thing. top before I piece it to the sections uh, so that that's just good, then going to get hidden in the um, okay. seam allowance. Cool. So I'm just doing the four squares. So it's just like a, you know, it's a four patch mm. um, sewing that together. And then what I've done is I've prepped my um, extra large stem, now, uh, <laughs> which doesn't need to be this um, <laughs> long. But you've been quite generous with this But I've stem. been generous with it's it. It's shot up. Yes. Yep. So we would piece, and what I would do is I would piece that together first and then, you know, you can kind of gauge how much you need. So it'll be less than that even yeah. to lay across there. But if you're making more than one, you can just do long strips. Uh, you could do that with a, with a bias binder maker, So you can maker, do it with a bias binder maker. Mine's not particularly fine. Mine's quite a chunky stem. That's all right. It's a big strong flower yeah so um mine's <laughs> mine's wow. quite a chunky one and strong all i've done flowers. was i think i cut that just over an inch and then just folded you know just um press the sides in so that when i come to applique it, i've got no um raw edges using a using um a bias tape maker would be easier and less uh fiddly you know, than just using the iron straight on. But you don't have to cut your strips on the bias. You can cut them on the straight. straight. Unless you wanted to make it Ooh. twirly, which would be another option. Twirly so if you stem. did do bias tape, then you could have your, um, you know, a little wiggle in your, in your stem, which like you might creeper. prefer. Like a creeper. That's that just makes me think, I know, but it makes me think of that game that my children play on the computer. Oh, I don't know what that is. Minecraft. Oh. They have creepers in them. Do they? Yes, apparently oh. they're the baddies. I think. Oh, are they? I don't really know. What We're I'm getting about. near Halloween. Could be, could be something <laughs> Halloweeny, but it's not. I was creepy. just thinking of those, you know, the plants that. Yeah. But obviously, with a straight one, you can't. You, you've got no give in it, so you you can't um, make it bend. But if you did bias, that would look nice as well. So I'm just going to sew these together. So sew them into rows, and then just make a four patch. All right then. Um, while she does that, produce Hannah, did you want to look at those fabrics again? Yeah, I'll be back in a minute. Okay. Do you want me to take these with me? Got it. Now then. Um, the most popular is the one that Lucy's using, which is details 20, what did we say it was, 22.95? Something like that. 25.95. Three metres of fabric there, 25.95. XOGC. 96. I've lost Lucy. Where's she gone? 
don't know where she's gone. 2595 XOGC 96 and a meter of each of those fabrics. It's a lot of fabric, isn't it, for 25.95? Lovely. Now the next one that we've got, oh, it's Christmas, this one. Um, it's not actually called Christmas, it's called Tulip, but we think poinsettias. Or, or holly, and these could be your berries. 25.45, PXGC 70. And again, three meters of fabric there. And then over here, here it is. We've got these. And this gives you another tulip variety. But you've got that lovely apple spot on there. And your purple and your pink. All coming in for 22.45. I knew one of them was 22.45. There you go. 22.45 for your damson tulip fabric bundle. HVGC 25. Fab. There you go. They are your three fabric bundle choices. Getting low on that one, please make sure you don't miss out on any of the others. Hey, Lucy, what are you doing? Cutting another square that I'd forgotten about. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Why not? So I'll just cut that out and then I can carry on piecing this. Da -da -da. <laughs> just when we come to do the layout. Half the stock of the book has already gone. Uh, please check out your baskets for your book as well. Very, very nice book here. I give you a very, very nice book. I think the nice thing about this is that it gives you a chance to try other techniques, doesn't it? So whether you're just used to appliqueing or whether you just do normal blocks or whether you want to try some foundation paper piecing. Victoria Peach showed us another way to do that. Was it Victoria showed us that the other day? Someone, no, no, it wasn't. Who was it? Victoria has shown us and then somebody else. Did some more foundation paper piecing. And, uh, and uh, yeah, it's lovely. I want to give it a go. It's a lot of fun and you can, here. with foundation paper piecing, you really can get um, patterns and shapes that you are very, very difficult to get with, with anything else. You mean like else. this one? Yes, like that Just one. for example. E. Yeah. Uh, there would be another way of doing that, but look at the finished effect. But then also, look at this one. This is another of those flowers that's really expensive in the florist and I really love, and I don't know what it's called. Oh, Bird of Paradise, there you go. <laughs> you know now. <laughs> I know now. Yeah, but some of them aren't actually their real name, are they? In here, it no, would be fair to no, say. No, that's true. But that's your Bird of Paradise, and again, foundation paper piece. They're not all foundation paper pieced. You've got all sorts of different ways of doing it. Like what it says down here. Foundation piece blocks, picture applique blocks, traditional applique blocks. Oh, I said it. Well done, me. Um, <laughs> and then your patchwork blocks. And then you've, got, you've given you some quilt ideas. And again, these are going to change depending on what fabrics you use. They've used pretty plain fabrics in here, haven't they? Just because they want to really, yes, you know. Yes, to make them stand out. Make but a yeah, statement. you could use prints or, um, you know, give things some texture. Like I love this one for, you know, just adding a little bit of texture. It's a bit different from just a plain green. Yeah, you see tulip on an angle. It's not an actual flower, is it? Well, the tulip is, <laughs> not on an angle. Not on an angle. Yeah, skinny tulip. I'm sure that's not a breed of tulip. You never know. But um, it's probably oh, not. Look. Yeah. That, oh, that's what I meant by the sampler quilt. Yeah, so it gives you the, pro you know, project ideas. So if you're, um, you know, unsure about the best way of putting things together. It's just got those examples for you there. So Lovely. you can see how to do that. So you can create your own flower garden. Yes. Lovely. So I've just trimmed off my... Super long stem. Super long stem. As you should when you get flowers home from the supermarket. Always, uh, you know, chop on off diagonal. on the diagonal. Yep. Yep. Bit of lemonade. Oh, really? Tip from a florist. Nice. Yes. Makes them last longer. Diet or full fat? Full fat. Okay. Yeah. Not too much. Just a, just a, a bit of lemonade. And they, they apparently like the cheap stuff better than they do oh, the do branded. They? Yes. Oh, nice. So okay. there you go. Another tip. Top tips. Not just <laughs> quilting tips. General life quilt. Uh, life tips. From but I don't know why. So if anyone would like to tell me why. She didn't know why either. Probably the but sugar. It, but just it them. works. Yeah. Yeah. But apparently just lemonade. Anyway. 
So, um, I'm, so if I can show you from that side, so you can see I've just got a little bit extra. There's no need to trim that off. You do it once you've sewn okay. it down because yeah. you don't want to get down to the bottom and not have quite enough. So um, I just leave a little bit extra on the sides there. And now I'm going to applique it with my beautiful blue thread, <laughs> which wasn't the best the choice That's now. That's okay, no, we'll be able to see. We'll go with it. Yeah, so you'll be able to see. And actually, there's the, there's nothing wrong with it on a stem. I don't, you know, I wouldn't no. want it on the flowers, but... I think it's fine for the stem. So because I've folded over those edges, I don't necessarily need to worry about um, sewing the sides down. Right. You know, so I'm not, I don't need to do a zigzag or a blanket stitch or anything like that if I didn't want to. I could do that if I wanted to decoratively, but I'm just going to do a straight stitch. Just okay. keep it nice and simple. Why not? So. Um, yeah, don't try ginger ale. I'm just thinking. Do you think somebody tried ginger ale or something yeah, instead maybe. of lemonade? Maybe. And the plant went no. to move that thread out of the way. Okay. There we go. So are we going super close to the edge? So I'm just going to go quite close to the edge. Yes, I'm not going to worry too much about it. Because it's, I've got it folded over right to the centre. So I'm so not too worried about it. If at home you were worried, pin it... Or yes, you heat and bond yes. It down? Uh, pin it, you could heat and bond. Um, if it was longer, because it's not that long, but if it was a bit longer, I would use the glue stick to hold it in place. Because oh, that just idea. washes out. Yeah. And I use it for everything. So <laughs> I just have that on hand. But I think if you're doing quite a lot of these, you know, if you, if you fold it over the edge, uh, pin or glue would be my... I prefer the glue because I haven't got anything that I have to move out of the way then. Yeah. So. Job done. Oh, Marion sent in an image. Oh, lovely. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So that's using, that's all hand appliqued using bias. Yeah, so that's like the traditional Celtic knots, which are Isn't beautiful. That's stunning. That's ever so clever, isn't it? Yeah, and it takes quite a lot of thought as to where you stop and start, you know, because you, um, you're not always using continuous uh, bias, so you'll be hiding some of the ends of your bias where it's overlocking. There are some very clever people out there, aren't there? There are, that's beautiful. Really stunning. Beautiful. Hmm. So I'm just going to trim this off, so we just... just a bit, yeah. Oopsie. And I'm going to use my mat because I like it. Get your rotating mat out. It's one of those yeah. things that you're just going to use and use and use. Was it, a, have you got one at home? Yes. And was it one of those things that you didn't know you needed until you got Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Well, no, to be honest, I probably knew I did need it. But then once I got it, I realised just how useful it is. And it just saves, you know, just saves time. It's easy. Quite often you can be cutting something and then realise you're cutting at a different, depending on what you're doing, cutting at a different angle and you don't want to shift the things that are on the mat. So spin you just spin the mat, it just makes it so much easier. 32 95 once you've got it, look after it, it's yours for life, isn't it? It's one of those things. Yeah. Uh, but very limited on that. So if you're after one, grab it quickly. Don't know when it's going to be back in stock. Like so many things today, that seems to be what I, I keep know. saying today, isn't it? Busy day. Mm. So then it's just a matter of building up our pattern. Oh, lovely. So with the pieces, so there's the bit I'd forgotten. There right. we go. <laughs> Even like the middle of the flower. The easiest bit, yeah, I no, forget. That's and then just laying this out. But this gives me hope. When a professional yeah. like yourself forgets bits. Forgets bits. Uh, yeah. That makes me think, yeah, yeah no, that's fine. I can forget bits yeah. too. It's easily done. And look at that, da da! So then I'm treating it like it's a four patch. So rather than now sewing this into rows, because I've done my stem differently, mm -hmm. what I will do is break it up into four patches. Sometimes it's the breaking down, isn't it? That's yes. actually the hardest bit. Yeah, and you don't always know, you know, because traditionally you would sew a row, a row, your third yeah. row. But because I've done it this way, you can't then do that. So I've broken it into... Uh, four patches okay. and you piece those together and then and then it's one big four patch and you piece Yay. those together 
Okay. So I shall start doing that. So and just um, using my quarter quarter of an inch again. And so then, would you chain piece these? Yes, I'll chain piece them. Um, it's my preferred method. Right. Just because it's so time saving. So I'll just sew down the one and then take the next piece. This is where I have to be methodical and I double check when I get it to yeah. to the um, sewing machine. It's not a difficult word, but I've forgotten it. Uh, just go, oh, have I done this right? Have I done this right? Do you remember when we did the test and we were, do, we were doing a test? Before we before we started, and I was doing, and I had a couple of shows just to practice. Oh, the test And shows. I was doing this, the yeah, test shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was doing this, and I was chain piecing. You know, oh yeah, chain piecing is so easy. Completely messed up the whole pattern, <laughs> oh, and you were so gracious, said nothing until the end, and I went, look, that's horrible. <laughs> But just because it does, you're right, it just takes a little bit of thought. It's worth double checking that you're sewing the right pieces together because you're not going <laughs> to save yourself. Yeah. You're not going to save yourself time if you're doing it wrong, are you? No, that's so true. It is I love worth how checking. it's etched into your memory. I'd completely It is, yeah. Wrong. I could just totally messed up in, completely. I, um, I, I'm not going to lie, I love it when guests get it wrong. Because yeah. it makes me feel better. And then lovely Hannah came down and went, oh, I actually prefer the one that you messed up. Which was just so kind of her, but probably not at all true. No, it will have been. But she, always she gave the me the confidence that it didn't matter that I'd messed it up. <laughs> Do you know, <laughs> some of my best works have been from mistakes. Yes. And you can have, like, happy accidents, can't you, where you discover things <laughs> that you wouldn't have done if you'd have done it right absolutely yeah test your skills as well absolutely in fact i created um a whole pattern did you yeah because Randomly. i was making a bag and i cut the piece too small oh and i was cross with myself and then i went well what am i going to do with the leftover pieces yes. so i created a whole other pattern based Lovely. on the bit i'd cut wrong mm. so it can happen you see, for me at the moment, doing up, doing up this house is trying to um, find ways to use up whatever fabric that I've got. That's kind of my challenge, mm -hmm. is, is how to create things yes. out, of, out of scraps and, and yeah. this, that and the other. Kind of, sort of upcycling, but with your scraps. Yeah. yeah. My husband said to me at one point, are there other things you're going to be covering in fabric? And I said, yes, as much as... Everything. Possible. Everything. Just everything. Yes. So I've chain pieced those together. So that's my three other four patches. And what I'm going to do is not cut in between every single one. I'm going to cut every other one. OK, because that's going to make up my uh, patch. So I don't actually need to cut in between those two because I can just go ahead and <coughs> sew them together. Jane in South Yorkshire says, Good morning, ladies. Loving the show. And Lucy's demonstrations are wonderful. I learn every time. Oh, thank you. There was another lady that said, use the um, hangers to do a design wall. Yes. I think, I'm yep. guessing what you mean by that is to like hang up a big sheet of fabric and then pin onto it so that you can see what a quilt looks yeah, like. Yeah, you can hang a uh, wadding yep. and then your um, blocks will stick to it because ah. they stick to the wadding and then you can just move them around. Oh, nice. So that would be a great way, rather than sticking your wadding to the yes. to the wall. Of just and it gives you a different perspective, on it, doesn't it? You can you can step back and see. Yeah. Who knew from a from a little wall hanging? No, get all, all that. the things that you could do. I'm all. I'm, did you want me to um, press them? Yes, you can do that. You can do it now. Because what I've done is I didn't cut in between these pieces. Ah, okay. okay. So as I'm chain, I chain pieced all of them, but I know <clears> that these are making up my four patch section. Yeah. So I don't need to <coughs> cut that. I can keep them together and just sew across there. So that's what I've done there to create that four patch section, which goes that, that way. <laughs> there we go. So I didn't. You should really press in between, but. You can do it you with, knew without. You only had 15 yeah. minutes left. Um, so I've got one seam going that way, one seam going that way. And then that one, you see where I've got, because I've got the bulk there. Oh, yeah. So I would press, I would just let that go up. So even though you're folding that back, I would just press it that way. Okay. Or you could press it open. Okay. There we go. 
So all I'm doing when I'm sewing these together is just having one seam go one way and one the other way. Because that's the easiest way to get your um, points nice and Get your bulk neat. down. Yeah. And you start to see it come together and it's um it's really nice when you start recognizing how um blocks are pieced together you start looking you know and if you're going to quilt exhibitions or shows or even if you're just looking in books you know or at pictures of quilts online you can start to look at them and think oh where is the block how has that been you know, been I still can't together. always see it. Yeah, and sometimes it's really, it is really tricky. And then I'm really impressed. Yes. I'm like, oh, yeah. But funnily, things. oftentimes, sometimes the ones that seem really complicated aren't. They're not. They're actually, they actually come together very easily. So there's just some tricks, isn't there? But you see, I love, I love tricks. I love, I, I love and tricks. I love to. I, um, when I was, oh, before I went to drama school years and years and years ago, I worked for the Royal Shakespeare Company. Mm -hmm. And I worked in eight different departments. I wanted to know how theatre worked before I went off to train to be an actor. And, um, and one of the one That's of the a very mature way of moments, doing things. You know, <laughs> at my moments. That was probably it. There we go. Oh, uh, but, um, and so, yeah, I worked on crew. And it was amazing because you got to see... Well, I worked as a dresser as well. And then I worked on the crew. And so, you, you know, you'd see... Where, where you had to go to hand out spears in Julius Caesar and you'd be underneath the stage or you'd be throwing ticker tape from the top of the building and stuff like oh that. It was amazing. Oh, my gosh. It was great fun. Um, and it just, it was, it, but it was getting to know those secrets and it's the same with quilting. You know, there are secrets in it. Yes. And you, you find your own methods and your own ways of doing things, you know, you'll you'll see what works for you everybody's different some people like labeling things you know and, and doing it that way to keep everything in order um oh you see joy she's a labeler some sew in rows some pin some don't pin <laughs> <laughs> i'm of the don't pin <laughs> we're not judging no 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 but it's not you know it's it's whatever way works for you and that you find enjoyable because this is not meant to oh, be, no. you know. Oh, now, stop it, Lucy. Next, you'll be telling us no. that we should be having fun. You are supposed to be having fun. <laughs> What's the matter with you? And have fun with it, you know, have fun with it. And if things don't work out perfectly, it doesn't matter. There we go. Never worry about it. This is what we do for fun. Yeah. It's got to be. Don't worry about it. Either that, that or go and do the hoovering or something. Yeah. If you're not having fun, just remember what you could be doing. Then <laughs> you should be having fun. Exactly. <laughs> Is my tip for you. Exactly. I'm going to pull these little extra threads out. Mm -mm -mm. Right. I'm nearly there with your pressing and stuff. Yeah. But there you can see how neatly that comes together. And what's nice about this particular one That's is other ironing. than your squares, it is beautiful. Other than your squares, you're not, there's not um, points to, to match really. You know, it's yes. quite straightforward yes. in terms of um, putting it together. So it is a really fun one to do. And you could do that in more earthy colours and have it look like a leaf, you know, like, the, like a maple leaf sort of a look. Oh, you could, yeah. It would look very striking, actually, in the red bundle, too, wouldn't it? I see any of those floral bundles that we've got today, just going to work a treat. And the fact, I think what I'm so impressed by is how we've made one, one block. Yes. Like, entire block. But when you put four of them together, how gorgeous that is. It's a completely different look. And, and that's just lovely. And so there's no reason why you can't do that with all sorts of... With all sorts of different No, ones. absolutely. And, and that's another skill that comes with time. The more blocks you make, the more you begin to see how they create secondary patterns and yes. things when you put together. Well, it's when like you put this them one, together. isn't it? So you've got, you've got the flowers, but actually what I see is this pattern here. 
Yes. And it looks quite regal. It looks like it should be on a coat of arms or something, it shouldn't it? Yeah. Maybe that's just in my head. Yep, I can see Every that. day, says producer Hammond. All right there, Derek. So there's no need to nod. <laughs> Let's go home now. It's fine. There we go. That's <laughs> They're good. just saying whatever you can see, Natasha. That's fine. In possibly the most patronising tone ever. Rude. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I have to say, I'm quite in love with this pink mat as well. It's a good one, isn't it? It's lovely. Yeah, uh, nice you're going to have to wrestle colour. Um, sales manager Haley. Okay. I didn't know what her position was. Oh. <laughs> that was awkward <laughs> earlier, wasn't it? I was like, who are you, Haley? What, She's what like, do don't you, do you know? Exactly? I was like, well, I just call you my boss. <laughs> you're just my boss. boss. She's like, no, I do actually have a title, Natasha. Oh. Who knew? I didn't know. Who knew? No, uh, but anyway, you both want the cutting mats. I don't blame you because it's, it's right nice. There, I've got threads everywhere today. I don't know what it is. Chop that off. Get rid of that little bit. There we go. Now I'm Yay! Happy. No, there's Fab. one more bit. Of... Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Not a perfectionist at all. No, 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 no. One, no one oh, can I can see, see more. I'm just going to leave them. Just let it go. Let it go. I'll get it. There we go. Thanks. I've got it. Thank you. It's okay. There was two. There's one more. Where? Where? <laughs> I think oh, I've look. got like <laughs> some sort of a thread Where? there. How did you even see that? I don't that? know because it's all I do is look at quilts and bits of thread hanging oh, out. My word. It drives me crazy. So sometimes I will cut, sometimes I will pull them out. I'll just be really honest. Sometimes I'll pull them out because if it's just got it come from the other side, you know, it but if you can't get it out, you can or sometimes you can get in the back. This is how. You know. And you just go in that seam like that and you can pull the thread out from in the seam. Just hours. a little tip. Yes. Hours you spend hours. just trimming threads off quilts. Hey, do you want to also have look, 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 look. that's the so that was the alternative. This is <laughs> Hey, what if you do mix mix in there? Yes, you could yeah. do that. Give it a different look. We're gonna get this from, from and on. And that high. on point would make me happy with that one at the top. Would it? Mm, I would like that very much. So you could do that one diagonally there, can't you? Yes. Yeah, and you can see how then that stem, if that was extended all the way across and you had it on both, that would make a big, big cross. cross. Yeah. So, That's as it is. Yeah, but I do like it like that. I like it. Options. Like options. Yeah. And you've got options. 100 any size options. CD included 500 plus block size options. That's a lot. That's working out pennies a block, isn't it? Yeah. And even pennies. you could have that be a quarter of a quilt, couldn't you? And then yeah. do different ones yeah, and make them thinking. into four different, four different sections of yeah, the quilt. Stunner. It would. Absolute stunner. The possibilities are endless, quite frankly. And you can learn different techniques, different ideas. And it's all because you've got that, that little CD in there. And it's a nice mix as well, this one, I think, of modern and traditional. You know, you've got some much more traditional looking blocks in there and then you've got, um, you know, more modern versions. So that simple tulip, yeah, you know, is a very modern striking look to me. It's quite, yeah. or almost could be like a 60s sort of a retro pattern, couldn't it? Depends on yeah. the fabric that you use to make But this them. down here, very quite traditional. traditional. Yeah, I love that. That's me. The hibiscus. I love those. And the rose. I love those rose patterns. I think they're just so beautiful. It, it's, it is. It's all really wonderful. And you can have them any size. So whether you just want to do a cushion with just that on, then you could, you could do that. You know, or whether you just wanted to do a nitty bitty pin cushion. Yes. Because you're going from four inches. You could just make yeah. yourself a pin cushion out of one of these. Job done. Or go crazy and make yourself up an entire mahoosive great big quilt. Yeah. And I you've tend got quilt ideas in the back. I think mahoosive. But yeah, but look at that. And um, so that um, and that it doesn't look it doesn't look like that that's your original block. I don't know anything like it. You wouldn't know it was flower, would you? Unless you look really hard and squinted a bit. Yeah, I know you wouldn't. So, oh, producer Hannah's her that would look lovely been... in the Christmas colours, wouldn't it? Oh, yes. That would look really nice in the Christmas colours and be like a Christmassy quilt, but that you could use all year yeah. round. It would, it's not overtly Christmas. That would be beautiful. But you see, look at that. Yeah, that's so pretty. That that's the sort of quilt that's on my one, one day 
list. On your wall? On my, on my for, one for day on list. Your, on your yes. one day wall list. And I would hand, you know, I would hand applique that, I think. Would yes, you? Yes, I would hand applique that, yeah. Gosh. It's just one of those nice projects you take round with you, you know, finish a block here, finish a block there, and over the course Here's of a, block, a few there's years, a block. <laughs> there's your finished quilt. <laughs> That's not a horrid, that wouldn't be a horrid project. That would be a long term A project. long one. I've got a few of them on the go, yeah. Lifetime work. Yes, absolutely. Now, please check out your baskets for your hangers. These have been so popular. Yeah. Um, I love that you can paint them as well. I, don't I didn't know, know whether to ask that question because I wasn't sure if you could or not, but that's even better that you can paint them. Well, yeah, because, you know, you might have dark walls, light yeah. walls. You want, might want for yeah. Christmas and spray paint gold or whatever. I can um, have a lot of dark wood. So, like you your said, varnish. you stain it, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, ten ninety five for your natural coloured quilt hangers. They're only natural coloured, well, when you get them. Mm. You can do whatever you want with them then. Like a bit of neon. You could have a bit of neon, couldn't you? Mm. <laughs> well, maybe you would. <laughs> I might. <laughs> okay. Glow in the dark. Oh, there you go. That's <laughs> for the kids' room. Understated. For the kids' room, the glow in the dark ones. So we haven't got our spare room. And then paint sorted. a face on for Halloween. <laughs> Jack o' lantern. My mum and dad had to stay in Freddie's bedroom. I was like, oh, I did like the luminous stars and the ceiling. <laughs> oh, I know. See, it's lovely. My children have those as well. Every child. It's a rite of have passage, them. isn't it? Are you back tomorrow? I am. Oh, good, so am I. I Should am. we be here? Yes, let, yeah, let's I'll meet do you here that. in the Go morning. On, then. About six o'clock. There we go. Yeah, beautiful. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Natasha. I'll see you in the morning. Um, oh, message for Lucy. Marie oh. says, uh, it's always a great day oh, when Lucy is on. Thank you, Marie. That's there you just go. made my day. Thank you very much. I think you've made hers. Oh, there lovely. You go. Did you want to do the book here or over there? Over the other side. I'll see you in oh, a bit. Right. See you in a bit. Pop kettle on, love. <laughs> I shall. <laughs> now... Here you go, 100, any size, anywhere quotes. Uh, producer Hannah says, check out your baskets. That is the message from, from upstairs. Because how much of it's gone? Oh, wow, over half the stock gone. There you go. 100, any size flower blocks, 500 plus block sizes. They go from four inches up to 16 inches. And then it says, enjoy. There you go. Bundles. Christmas block, which is, um, you'll find it as the red tulip block, but we think Christmas now. We've moved into Christmas mode. Yeah. So 25.45. We think, uh, what do we think? Poinsettia. Actually, I also think poppies. Because we've got, we've got all that coming up, haven't we? 25.45 for that. PXGC 70. And then... PX, oh no, that's gone. This one is uh, your damson tulip. It's damson time of year, isn't it? Yes, it's got centimetres on the other side, Lucy. <laughs> Lucy's peering at the pink cutting mat going, is it inches and centimetres? Is it both? Yes, it is. Uh, 22.45 damson tulip fabric bundle. Caught in the act, love. <laughs> Oh, yeah, no, it's a good cutting mat. Uh, then this one here is... Uh, oh, it's self-healing, apparently, as well, the cutting mat. Yeah, <laughs> we'll give you the details for the self-healing cutting mat in a minute. Twenty-five ninety-five. there. That's your yellow spot tulip fabric there. And Lucy's going to show us the cutting mats. Come on, Lucy, model us that cutting mat. It's a really good thickness. It's a good I thickness. Am you know, that this I use them all the time, so I want to know that it's self-healing, that it's, you know, a good quality. It's got a really nice thickness. It does have <laughs> centimetres. Coming up tomorrow. <laughs> oh, we've got sewing for you today, day, and we've got 9am. We've got Dashwood Studio Showcase. Ooh, that's exciting. 10am, interlocking square block. And at 11am, we've got Sashko Hour. So we will see you bright and early tomorrow. We'll be me and Lucy. See you then. Bye-bye. Follow us on Instagram. Search for our sewing quarter page and follow us to get our latest posts.
Don't forget, shopping with us is easy and simple. You can just contact us at 0800 112 4433 and speak to our UK-based call centre to place an order or shop online with us at www.sewingquarter.com.